This episode of Good Trades is brought to you by the generous patrons of the Good Trades Brigade. Cherry, Kevin, Charlie, Carla, Kenneth, and Denise. Thank you so much for the support, and keep it going. We love our bread. We love our butter. But most of all, we love each other. Was mm. was to become yeah. sad and grow also. Oh, we love our bread. We love our butter. But awesome. most of all, we love each other. Yo. <laughs> You're making me go uncomfortable. <laughs> Patreon. Oh man, I wish this. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It will be exclusive Patreon content. Yeah. He's our left track. So, so in post show. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the post show. Oh, yes, left track. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes, it is good to be back. Oh, I missed Hell. you guys. Ten days. Yeah. How was the episode without me? Fun. <laughs> and, uh, That's not what I want to hear. Here. And, oh, and, without and, me? And and orderly, because you haven't um, did the welcome thing. What do you mean? <laughs> You're the host, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm the host, right? Oh, no. Welcome to another episode of Good Trades, where... Uh, where where we punch each other with stories and everyone takes damage. Got yeah, I got yeah. it. Ugh. Got it. Oh, I got oh. punched by a story. Oh, so oh. much damage. Uh, you're listening to episode 21. <laughs> no. Everyone. Be back in four minutes. It's 22. Is it? It is 22. It, oh, 21 was when I wasn't around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, you're listening to episode 22, everyone. I'm your host, Emil from Emil in the Morning at Night. And joining us today, wait, I'm doing the intro to my old show. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it alive somehow. Yeah, <laughs> really. One Holy crap. more year. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Yes, one more year. Before yeah, that. it's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, um, 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 joining me tonight are, you know, the usual people here, the usual suspects yeah. here Whoa, at the Good Trades good Brigade. Um, to my left... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you can see. To my left, that you cannot see since this is an audio format, is the Migoy, the king of the Migoys. And okay, some will say otherwise. It's so good to meet you, Your Majesty. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, yes. The king of the Migoys. Fuck you, Alucard. <laughs> and right across me is the muscliest of muscle men, Mr. Rafi oh, Lanus uh, from, from the Geek and Gladiators. Mm. Pop, pop, don't stop. Oh, and wow. over to my right is Migs from Too Much Gaming. <laughs> no, you're the not Mosey. wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not wrong. wrong. I'm not wrong. So how's Accurate. it? Yeah, how's it been going, boys? I missed you guys. We didn't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> south has changed, Raffy. Oh, the south. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pilgrimage to the deep oh, south. Yeah. yeah, you guys it's like um, recorded the episode in the south. How was that? Oh, that's interesting. Really interesting. You, you like had to be a, there. Like in we a good way. The weekends. We recorded outdoors. Yeah. No. You were so free from your tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, okay, explain. What is my tyranny? No, I'm just kidding. Tyranny of memes? Yeah. yeah. Think this through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, we found ourselves at the, at the void that there would be no one to explain the memes. Oh, <laughs> no. A memeless episode. Yeah, a memeless episode for Good Trades. Weird. I mean, I, I mean, I can explain <laughs> memes again later. Like, there's yeah, this you one. Catch up. <laughs> <laughs> what are the meme power rankings this week? <laughs> oh, dude, dude, like the lowest one, the lowest, but yet most popular meme on fucking everywhere now is the fucking okay. we did surgery on a grape meme. Fuck oh, that I saw meme. That. I don't know. Dude, I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. Is this as self-explanatory <laughs> as it sounds? It's not. Well, kind of. But the origins are mystical and like, like, like interesting. All right. Okay. Take us on the journey. Yes. Here we go. Emil explains memes badly. Um, okay. So basically, everyone's posting about this shit like they did surgery on a grape. 
Mm-hmm. Ah. Yep. Have you seen it? Insightful. No. I did. I no, did a few a, a few seconds. Right. Like, cause cause basically everyone's just remixing this goddamn meme it, uh, to the point that it's just the punchline is just they did surgery on a grave. As in, it'll be any picture, any conversation, and the last line will always be they did surgery on a grave. Sounds or, hilarious so far. Or like, think um um um. Okay, let me give you an example. Yeah. Uh, you know the Lost comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the amount of effort that goes into this meme is just they get the lost comic, they replace the last um, <laughs> picture with a grape. <laughs> That's it. That's, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. See, I see. It's no. that form of remixing. Um, to give you a little bit of history behind this meme. Oh, there we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, really? Really? Oh, like 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 actual learning here. Uh-oh. Um, back in two thousand ten. Um, um, I forgot which university it was, but it was a university for like doctors and shit. You study medicine. And in order to demonstrate their, their surgery prowess, yeah. they operated on a grape. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, right. as in, Isn't that just cooking? No, but like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, straight up, like they, they cut it with uh, surgical tools. It yeah. took out yeah. its liver? What, how do you <laughs> operate <laughs> with a grape? No, no. They, they take off the skin yeah, they and ta- then they stitch it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just to show how delicate they can be, they removed the skin and uh, performed like a suture thing on it. Okay, like like okay. it had stitches and everything. Did and it heal back? Is that the <laughs> No, yeah. no. It, it was just like seriously just an example, right? Is there a seed transplant happening? <laughs> seedless grapes. Seedless. Mm. That's how they make seedless grapes. Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> that way there's all the stitches on my dude. Throat. Oh my god, you're right. You're right? Right? Mm. Have you ever seen a seedless grape Today without I stitches? <laughs> how seedless grapes were made. Oh dude. In the hospital. Yeah, those are the two things that get stitches, you know? Snitches and seedless <laughs> grapes. <laughs> and basically, um, um fast forward seven years later, uh, to, to 2017. Whoa, so, look at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Travel. Some some like I forget what it was, but like some shitty website like grabs the original video and just puts like a Snapchat like caption on it. Oh no! That just says they did surgery on a grape because it okay. sounds absurd. Yeah, because yeah. it sounds it's absurd. Funny. Yeah, so buzzwords, clickbait title, blah 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 blah. And fast forward to 2018, and someone found that screenshot and retweeted it on Twitter, and it just kind of blew up like 3,000 retweets or whatever. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, by <laughs> people who don't know that this happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And everyone just got on the bandwagon, and they've been remixing it for the whole week. The and fuck? I'm like fucking sick of it. Internet is the <laughs> like, weirdest when place. I, saw it, yeah. I swear, like, isn't this old? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it? super old. 2010 old. Jesus. Weird. I guess children were born after that. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like, like related to the grape thing. Yeah, because. I, Never I never thought that would be a sentence. I was like, I remember, I think it was last year or last two years ago. Okay. Where I saw a video of these Japanese uh, surgeon applicants or surgeon students. Right. Yeah. Um, trying to make sushi using chopsticks or like Ooh. Uh, precision, Ooh. like scalpel, uh, you know, wow. uh, sur- surgery instruments. So, Making sushi? So, so they kind of uh, make sushi out of one grain of rice. What the fuck? Whoa. And they try, yeah, you didn't, uh, oh, you haven't seen it. One grain of rice sushi. One grain of rice sushi. Amazing. And they try to like um, fold it sushi. or like roll it with seaweed yeah. and have a paste of fish or something Jesus. like that. It's a really cool video. So, holy shit, cool. Yeah. Cool. I thought you guys. Like, no, I, I have you, not yeah. seen that. Japanese Since you are the yeah. Japanese boy of our. The group. Japanese boy. Yeah. Is this a perfect segue to my 10 day Japan trip? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> are we are we going in? Because that's the big one. Yeah, that yeah, is the big, big one. Point. So I do I mean, like I've missed you guys and like I would also like to know what's been going on in your lives. Yeah. Mm. Well you asked about the South trip. We got destroyed by traffic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was dude, something that happened. Yeah, I noticed the title of the last episode was like <laughs> I'd recognize this traffic anywhere. Mm. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, uh you patrons will get a yeah, nice Yeah, patrons will get a nice yeah, MP3 uh, earful of because mm-hmm. <laughs> we at, at some point during the, our South adventure we mm-hmm. were looking for a place to record mm-hmm. and then like on our way to the final place that we decided upon we just get destroyed by traffic like it must have been like 25 to 30 minutes oh Jesus of, like, of non-movement like and imagine like, imagine a Saturday night at around 11pm 11 11 yeah and, and it's just 
Like imagine the Alabang's Water Road. Yeah. Edsa. Edsa levels of traffic. We ran into like the Walking Dead set. Like the, the Oh the shit. Unmoving, yeah, the unmoving yeah. Cars. cars. Yeah. Did the so, other lane have just a horse? <laughs> <laughs> and a sheriff. <laughs> yeah. So so that happened and then we we kind of decided that maybe we should just start recording here. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So everyone, that's what that is. Like everyone's being delirious. Yeah, yeah. around like, that hour. Rafi's we air conditioning moving. was destroyed. Yeah. yeah. It was just hot in general. Yeah, so we were in a hot box. A non moving hot box. Oh, so that's the worst. Stroke. Yeah. <laughs> so we were shouting. That's the absolute worst. That's what caused my first ever panic attack. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. now. Yeah. I guess we have those panic attacks. Too. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's on record. Yeah. No. I, was, I was shouting for Patreon! <laughs> Get us out of here! Oh no! Help! Oh man. And, and, I, was, and yeah. I was shouting and I was shouting at the other people to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you on the roads? <laughs> oh man, that's the absolute worst. Yeah. So who wants to start out? Who's had a week? Mr. Raffi? Oh sure. Let's start with you. You seem to have a list. Uh, yeah. My week Chicken has been rice. incredible, but super busy and super crazy. Yeah. Like I had I had so much to do this week, but all all fun things. So um there was this preview event that I went to for PlayStation. Okay. Where they had like uh Sekiro and Kingdom Hearts. Holy shit! As well as the, the PlayStation Classic. So um, which one do you want to hear about first? Everything. Everything. Um, PlayStation okay. Classic. PlayStation yeah. Classic. Uh, okay. PlayStation Classic. Uh, it's not that great. <laughs> oh, really? I'll be, I'll be honest. It's right. a little. It's small. It's mm. it's a blast from the past for better or for worse. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? So it's like, um, first off, it doesn't come with the PlayStation ones. Controller that has the analog sticks. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. It comes yeah. with the old one? It yeah. comes with the, the classic the, one. The classic one. The one, classic, one. The one that looks like a Inferior boomerang? One. That's why yeah. there's oh, no oh, ape escape. Oh, shit. And, <laughs> just the one and, with the, the hand grip. So yeah. Oh, no yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll tell you what. It, yeah, like the, the old school play, PlayStation 1 didn't like doesn't ever feel as old as when you're trying to play Cool Warriors 2 <laughs> on like directionals <laughs> button, <laughs> directional no. buttons. And you don't have pressure sensitive controls yet during I that that's time. That's PS2, right? Yeah. yeah. The pressure sensitive button. But even. like none and of the games featured in the classic don't have analog controls. Um, I could have used it to Twisted Metal. Like, like I the, guess. it's weird when I played Twisted Metal with a dude that I was aiming and driving with just the directional button. Ah, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That so is that's the weird. Thing. And and like um, so, so there's that. How siphon um, filter. Oh, I didn't. I didn't play it. Oh, oh come shit. on! It, it was in man. there. It was in there. It was in there, though. Use them air tasers. Yeah, That's yeah. The thing that yeah. Inyong habul ko sa PS Classic. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What other game can you taste someone until they're crispy? Mm. I like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. dude. No, no, no. That's all I did as a fire. kid. They crispy? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. They crispy. They keep tasing them until they catch fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, you keep that. tasing them. They sound like for like 10 seconds yeah. and then they go silent then they start burning yeah. and then it's the wow. worst and you it's can absolute wow. worst. fire and catch fire yourself yeah dude siphon filter this video game wow non-lethal non-lethal <laughs> <laughs> what's his name the protagonist Gabe Logan. Gabe Logan. <laughs> there you go there dude, you go I think Gabe what Logan's one of the only protagonists who can rotate his hip in a very extreme <laughs> yeah. angle yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. like when you just strafe up his, them running his, animations. his torso just remains in one direction <laughs> while his whole yeah. lower body is just running around in circles. That, that's the power of hot yoga, sir. Yeah, yeah dude. Digital controls. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I also I also got to play the Kingdom Hearts. It is also very... Eh. Uh, um, have you been a Kingdom Hearts fan this whole time? Um, I loosely follow it. Okay. I've, I've played you, some of and some and some. Like some bits and some bits. Like, never finished it. Ah, okay. Never, never finished it. Okay. Never really dove into the story. Okay. Just I know loose bits of it. Because and for me, Kingdom Hearts two, <clears throat> I only played a bit. The one I really got into and like like beat all the like the super bosses and stuff. That was Kingdom Hearts one for me. Like yeah. like 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 weeks oh, yeah. weeks of trying to defeat Sephiroth. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, 
Oh, oh God! No. Holy crap! <laughs> you yeah. wait, oh, Sephiroth is Lance Bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no! That's gonna drive you crazy. That's gonna drive me crazy. Holy shit! I forgot. You're gonna lie awake, dude. Mm-hmm. The, the one I thing I always you. remember is Aerith is Mandy Moore. But oh, yeah, you didn't know I that. I didn't know that, dude. Oh, Aerith no. is Mandy Moore. A game to remember. <laughs> That was my Lance game. Bass. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Yeah. Uh, we were just making... Uh, listen back to the episode. Okay, <laughs> God, <laughs> okay so was good, how was, was Kingdom good. Hearts 3? Yeah. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, the, the combat seems very light. That's one of the things I noticed. Like, it's very, very uh, un-nuanced. Like, okay. And... and um, so you chain your attacks, right? Mm-hmm. And at some point, um, with each successive strike, I think a meter builds up, and mm-hmm. then you get the ability to press triangle to make like a a cool like, like a cool attack. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Is that a thing that was in the previous one? Th- that was it, a thing in two, right? Two, two yeah. Two is, onwards. It, is it similar oh, to like Final Fantasy fifteen when it comes to the movement? Uh, Does it feel good to move around no. and hit things? Yeah. Is it better? It feels or is it, a little it clunky. Feel it oh. feels a little clunky. Does Sora like, still feel like a sausage attached to a balloon? Oh. <laughs> I don't exactly. I mean, he's, I wasn't yeah. thinking in he's that in, uh, specific term. Like he's in Toy Story Land, right? So yeah, 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 yeah it yeah. might change a bit. No, yeah. the controls or shouldn't just, change. They, they shouldn't change. Yeah, but like for some change. reason, like Unless back it becomes an animal. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like back in the day when me and my friends were trying to like describe. How Sora feels like to control. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like, like uh, a bunch of us just landed on sausage attached to a balloon. It's like you're sausage. you're you're like the, blowing a sausage. Yeah, yeah. It away. and it floats yeah. away. Yeah, like, uh, like I like, don't think. Yeah, that that is surprisingly man. accurate. Like and his like, feet is just like planting like smush you know, in the in, ground. In the older games, like two is probably the best feeling. Yeah, it is. Games. yeah. It's, oh, it's like he moves really stiff, but yeah. at the same time floaty. Mm. And yes. the moment you jump and attack, he just kind of drifts away. Yeah, it's that's like, how I describe it. That that's closer to what I felt. So didn't like, change it. He, a bit. He's Did you very do the, floaty the spin test? but stiff. Mm-hmm. No, that's the first thing you should do. In yeah, any yeah. Video game. The, okay. spin the spin test. test. Okay. Spin your control stick. Yeah, uh, feels good. Keep it. Mm-hmm. Ah, See okay. if the character freaks out. If it looks stupid, that's fine too. <laughs> it might have looked stupid. If it looks stupid, yeah. that's a bonus. If yeah. Sora can't do it, that's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Those are the rules, huh? But yeah, did it look yeah. good? Uh, it it does look good. 4, right? That's 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 one thing that I liked about it. Not not is it that actually the graphics, but the art direction is great. Mm. Like um. So there were two demos, the Olympus demo and the Toy Box demo. Ooh. Olympus demo is like essentially just a boss fight. Mm-hmm. You're like in Hercules you're, land. Yeah, you're in Hercules, Hercules. land. You're, you're in the Cell Games arena. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. Um, this was. <clears throat> you're fighting the Titans in this one. So the yeah, you're, you're ascending Mount Olympus, oh. and there's this, the Rock Titan guy yeah, yeah, yeah. with oh, the two cool. heads, and he's like. Rah! So I'm, you're not just in the Colosseum like in get, one. No, no, no. Did, did you get to do that? Fucking Buzz Lightyear roller coaster ride. Yes, at the yeah, very yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that that was fun. Like, um, that's the highlight of that bit. Like, you get to fight the Rock Titan. Oh, cool! Wh- while you summon a magical train, throwing mm-hmm. fireworks. At it's just it. based on a Disney uh, Disneyland ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the all some a lot of the special attacks are based on on Disneyland Disney. rides, mm-hmm. and like um, like there's the there's that there's the teacups. Ooh, you can summon teacups? the mad teacup. Nice. Cool. Interesting. There's, nice. the, there's the pirate ship that rocks back and forth. Oh, sweet. And you juggle enemies. Oh, dude, fuck that thing. <laughs> you, can you do... Yeah, like, you, you can't do that. You're not good with that. Not only am I afraid of um, um, oh, small right. spaces now, right. I am also afraid of heights. Yeah, that's, oh. that's my original I fear. I you are afraid yeah. of pirate ships. Oh, dude, I <laughs> love pirate, pirate ships. ships. <laughs> so... Just fuck that pirate ship. That specific one. That yeah, goes, dude. That just goes Ooh, back and forth. That one can go to hell. <laughs> In David Jones' locker. Anyway. Um, um, yo, like, the, the, the reason why I say that about the combat, I feel like the special attacks feel unearned. Like, you just press a series of buttons. Mm-hmm. And, like, something incredible happens. Like, you summon the teacups. And it decimates, like, the ranks of enemies. Mm. It, fe- it doesn't feel, like, very complicated yeah for yeah. sure like, because he was very light because i think like usually that kind of stuff is reserved for end game and for when, the story like, you've already earned it yeah 
and you do uh, get those power ups as you like when you finish the world, you get the power up for that world. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, so, so this might be like mid game. Yeah, so I think what you're experiencing is like, you know that thing games do when they reward you after you've gone through the shit already, and then they throw waves of enemies at you in order for you to feel how powerful you've gotten. Mm-hmm. You think that's what the demo is about? Um, the Olympus level that didn't feel like that. It really? felt like a single boss fight, mm-hmm. and it felt very bare bones. The toy box one um, felt like it occurred la- a-, a bit later in the game. So okay. there's a bunch of keyblades that you can choose from, and you have uh, a ton of other like there there are magical spells in there, mm-hmm. and your your special attack changes de- depending on the keyblade. So this one this one special attack that I really like that that. Um, Summons the Toy Story rocket. Oh shit! And you can oh, fly cool. around in it, nice. and then Buzz like joins you the at the back. One. Yeah, yeah, the big one. Oh, cool. You summon the big one, and you go flying around. And then when you're finally done with it, you, you press triangle and aim it at a bunch of enemies. Oh, that's, oh, sick. that's you jump sick! Off, it's awesome. Super sick. Yeah, so maybe I don't know. It feels like very mid gamey. It feels mm-hmm. like there were tools there. I just don't like the mechanic of like. Just hit something five times, you get your super yeah. attack. Now let's get to what really matters about Kingdom Hearts. Sure. <laughs> How caught up are you on the story? <laughs> oh, boy, Z. Oh, man. I know there's people that doesn't that weren't supposed to be alive. There's an and Anthem there. and a Seaho North. Yeah. And there are a bunch of... Yeah. Dude. There are a bunch of white-haired villains that it, are... I think that's awesome. why the game is simplified, because the hard part is the story. Dude, yeah. <laughs> the real challenge yeah, is the, the story. story. Like, Understanding the story. Like Kingdom Hearts 2, mm-hmm. like it, it looks like you're just mashing X. Yeah, yeah, you really actually does. know how to play it. You're in full control. But if you show it to someone, like all I see are sparkles on screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? And then a super attack It does happens. look pretty. Yeah, you can totally play it that way. Too, where oh, you just magic get the super. Yeah. Pero like there's a, a like a precision that isn't required because mm-hmm. you can choose which abilities to trigger mm-hmm. depending on the series of attacks that you do. Yeah, and usually uh, a lot of the abilities are context sensitive. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, and then I, some of them give you properties. Now, oh, like. in this boss fight, this attack is worthless. Mm-hmm. Well, this one gives me a ton of invincibility. Okay. Yeah, so they shoot for that instead. And like, remember when I brought up earlier that um, I spent weeks trying to defeat Sephiroth? Yeah, it's yeah. There are parts of Kingdom Hearts that are very, very challenging. Oh, okay. but yeah, like yeah. you don't need to do any of them to finish yeah. the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. there for the crazy people like me. I like yeah. FF, but I'm with yeah, yeah. the weapons. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So like, none of that, none of the things you said that are negative sound different. Oh, because okay. they're they've been there. Since yeah. The okay. Good to hear. What about Sekiro, my man? Yeah, Sekiro. Sekiro yo, shadows die twice. Yo, it. How it, many times did those shadows die? Oh man, just twice. twice. <laughs> <laughs> On brand. Um, <laughs> Sekiro is great. Yeah. Um, it's basically Dark Souls with shortcuts. That's with shortcuts. That's, that's the main pitch of of, of Sekiro. What um, do you mean shortcuts? Um, because Dark Souls so, has shortcuts. So, all right, let me explain. No, 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 no. Uh, in a sense that, um, for example, you don't need to actually deplete this this enemy's health mm-hmm. okay. by striking it um, mm. until it dies. Until it dies, um, you can just play the poise meter, and then you get an instant kill after. Ooh. Or you can stealth kill enemies, just leading like uh, samurai killings. Yeah, without without ever having to face him in in single combat. Yes. It's not a long drawn out fight. And, and like he- the, the the exploring bit, um, so for for like in Dark Souls to get to this freaking ledge, right. you gotta go through a bunch of enemies, right. and God forbid there's a fucking spider in there, yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't man. play the game for a year. <laughs> uh, the true Dark you- Souls experience, <laughs> yeah, the definitive Dark Souls experience. Pero uh, in Sekiro, you can just like grappling hook up there, mm. like the the that's the big thing about it, like. It feels Dark Soul. It feels like Dark Souls, but since they're ninjas and they're agile shadow creatures, right. mm-hmm. you could fast forward a lot of the stuff. I mean, it's basically Tenchu. I mean, that's what it, it was supposed good, to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Even even like the the item usage feels very Tenchu. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's limited, and like um your your shurikens cost like uh there's this currency that you collect a uh, white emblem, uh, spirit. Token thingies. Okay. That's exactly what it White says. White emblem spirit token, token thingies. thingies. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. 
Let's, it's, let's it's, call them souls. Yeah. Yeah, let's call yeah, them yeah. souls. And it's, it's an inco- all encompassing currency that you use for your special weapon, you use oh, for your heart, your shurikens, and, and, mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. So, um, the good thing about that is is that um, some pe- some enemies are weak to different special weapons as well. Okay. So, like, shield, uh, like enemies with the wooden shield. Um, they're weak to the axe special weapon. Mm. So okay. when you use that, it breaks the shield immediately. Rock, paper, scissors. Type. And they're, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. And they're like, their poise is immediately high. So you can like stab him and kill him immediately. Right. Cool. Mm. So uh, like I talked a lot about poise. And what that means is basically like your your balance. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like your um, um, of footwork and like your your... Yeah, that, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so a lot like, like um, what's that other Soulsy game? I'm, uh, I mean, finally, um, what? From Software uses poise correctly. Correctly, correctly. yeah. <laughs> is this from Soft? Yes, yes yeah. it okay. is. Cause, cause, because in Dark Souls, yeah, Jesus, they, poise yeah, is like. Poise is useless. It's, 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 a, it's a use. Stat. It, a stat without any use at all. I mean, it, like, some people have fun with it with PvP. Yeah, but, but it's just limited. Like, yeah, it is. It's, it's a super niche. limited. It's yeah. from flinching from hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. I see. So, so you it, don't get interrupted. And yeah. Into, so oh, this is good news. At, yeah. at least this, a, this type of... Definitive poise stat. Yeah. yeah. At, this type of poise really has its and, own feature use. And it's use. the main feature of combat. Yeah. Like, um, you're not supposed to, like, bl- hold block all the time until okay. the guy comes in and, and hits you. He's mm-hmm. the, uh, um, if you do that every t- uh, every second you hold block, you you poise get drains. poise damage. Oh, poise damage. Yeah, so it you, builds up. The it builds you up. Hold block. So you get poise damage. So, and he when he hits it, the damage goes a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. But but your life stays the same. So but if you counter at the at the exact time that he hits, he takes poise damage, Ooh. and you're clean. Oh. So it's more of that. Like it's more of a timing based. Like it's it plays into like. The samurai ninja. So it yeah, really yeah. is about like it um, incentivizes attacking instead of blocking. Yes. Unlike Dark Souls, which is like always guard. Roll, yeah, roll, 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 guard. Guard. Because yeah, shields yeah. engender passivity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I love the verticality of it. Like that's the other. Um, Opposite of the grappling hook. Of the grappling hook, and even the fights, you can jump during a fight, which Ooh, is crazy for a song. Yeah. Plus, so cool. plus the hitbox porn allows for stupid things to happen Seems because of that, so right? Stupid. Right. Yeah. Oh, dude, because the hitboxes are so precise yeah. that you could like jump over like a thin yes. blade and shit like that. Oh, it's what? Super cool. Yeah. yeah it, it's like imagine oh, like a, a sword coming yeah. towards your head. Yeah, yeah. And you dodge it. Yeah, and if your physical like three D body dodges it, it dodges the hitbox. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a three oh. D model where the hitbox is just that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hitbox is actually on the model. Yeah, like Whoa. your your hitbox is not a box. It's yeah, a yeah. hit model. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no hitbox unless the sword actually comes in contact with the three D model. The thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit. Oh, that's impressive. Some people have been going nuts, like slowing down the videos. Yeah. And saying like, "Yo, that's bullshit," but I like that. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, and isn't this game like the one where you can't increase your life stats? Mm, is it? I mean, you don't level up normally. I haven't been keeping up to date with it, so yeah, I'm not sure. Me me no, like, cause in Dark Souls, even if you suck, you can still like level grind your way. Yeah. Until you can eventually tank something. Yeah, you go I on that, that huge quest. Right. I heard in Sekiro, like, if you don't know how to fight, it's You're gonna fucked. be a rough experience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you. I think yeah, you don't customize your character, you don't level up. Yeah, you don't. Those level are up. the two things. Yeah, it's it's That's more like I'll contain dude. So you gotta get good. Yeah, and like I guess one of the other bonuses that I got in playing in going to this preview event is that I got to backseat gaming Carlos again. Oh nice! <laughs> oh really? <laughs> On brand. On That's nice. TM TM TM. Um, <laughs> and like it it happened so naturally. Like I was just immediately at the back of Carlos was while he was playing. Then these like Carlos two girls, gaming. yeah, Charles was gaming, and then these like two girls began like cheering him on. This part, oh, this looks familiar. Gotta join in on this. <laughs> it's time to ruin the experience. Yeah. Oh man, shout out to Carlos. Yeah, yeah. Remnants of the, the the last what was that game? Uh, the last Guardian. Last Guardian. Last Guardian. Last Guardian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, apart from that, uh, the other big thing that I got to do this week. Dude, fucking Xavier Woods! Oh yeah, I haven't met Xavier Woods, and he's such like he's such an inspiration. He's like just a really, really cool dude, Mister Up, Up, Down, Down. Yeah, man, yeah. and WWE, mm-hmm. and like I don't know, like 
I can't I can't words how awesome he is. You yeah, can't words the woods. Yeah, I can't words the woods, man. He, like he's 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 so like chill and unassuming, but like full of wisdom. And he 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 goes like he switches from different things like nerd reference into like laid back into like wrestling stuff, and then outburst of like inspirational <laughs> shit. Like he, he he went off on 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 a dude who was asking for a video for his daughter. Okay. Like how about how his daughter parang wants to get into like professional gaming. Okay. So he, he did like a, res- a whole wrestling promo for nice. the daughter. Like, oh, that's what's important cool. is you manage your time. Because the, su- the suckers who don't manage their time are like, it's so good. Like, there's that. And then he, he's, he's like, like, for example, at the very start of the event thing, they ask us to file into the, the room. Right. So we get our stories together and then we're preparing. And then we just hear, like, from the corner of the room, Hey guys, <laughs> what? But and it's just him. And he's just, <laughs> he just walked into the room. There, there's, there's no like fanfare. There's no like big ridiculous like like you, you'd expect na parang magarbo parang. There's no giant excessive. cereal yeah. box containing the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hi guys. <laughs> No but, Vegeta armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because I'd like to imagine that whenever he enters a room, he just bursts out the cereal, cereal box. box. <laughs> I would have wanted that to happen. <laughs> And like, um, I don't know. There's just a bunch of awesome like like moments from from the whole day that I was following around Xavier Woods. So I followed him from the media roundtable thing up until the meet and greet at Moa, where he ate balut because you know of Philippines. Course. You know, yeah. gotta so do it. Happened. Yeah, that's the rule. And we got him. We got him, boys. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. um, was there a video? How do you react? Yeah, there is. Nice. There is. Okay. Is he gonna post it on his channel? Uh, he he prefaced by saying like he was a very picky eater. Oh, cool! So people were like, "Oh, that's he's perfect." Then. Oh, but then he oh. went all classic Xavier Woods in that he doubled down on it. He ate like, two. He ate two. Oh, he, shit. he was asking for another one, and he was like, he he drank the soup, and he he just goes out and says like, "Why do I feel so powerful?" <laughs> <laughs> and he ate he ate the whole meat. Dude, that's a good step though, because most people yeah. fuck it up and don't drink the soup. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. best part. That's, that is, yeah, that's the only Good. part. <laughs> yeah, that's the only part. Yeah. That's the, that's the, <laughs> for on, some people, man, it's the man. only. Yeah, part. for some, like as, as long as you don't look at the meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. But you taste the beak and the Sometimes, eye. But you, <laughs> not all of that's not a that's not a gamble. I wanna <laughs> I wanna be having with my food. 50 <laughs> is the beak formed or not? Yeah. So, uh, what what else we do? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Javier, Javier Woods, uh, <laughs> Javier Woods, Javier Woods. Um, Javier Woods. A, yeah. Uh, so after that, he he had to make time and do uh, playbook. Yep. He went and played with all the people at playbook. So, yeah. So the first first thing that happened was um, Xavier Woods versus AK. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> Dude, he got massacred. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course. That would be a surprise. And like. But but he made it like very interesting, like because he cut a promo on AK. No <laughs> shit. He he went to the live stream booth and said like, I didn't come all this way just to lose, and <laughs> I don't I don't care what your prodigy's age is, he's fourteen or twelve or whatever. He can get this beating. We fight kids. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny too because AK is usually very timid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he, he was blasting off on him, and he, he was like. It was like at some point he he yelled out like when he got a good round on AK he he just blasted off like um you, you think you think I don't know how to play this game because I got muscles come on <laughs> it's so good I have like I have like a whole set of videos that is just Xavier with trash oh, stuff it's so that's great good. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time man like I am I am so high on inspiration just from talking to him like he he preaches like time management and stuff like that. Something I am very, very, like, terrible at. He says, like, um, people who say, uh, I want to do this and I want to do that, but I just don't have the time. But no, you have the time. You just don't want to make the time. Uh-huh. And, and he preaches that kind of stuff always and forever. And just he... he I, loved, I love that about him. Like, he... I, I, I don't know how else to, to explain it. Like, well, he does have that PhD. Yeah, that he's working on. which turns out to be like he never finished it. Oh, because oh. 
they found out that the school was stealing from the students. Oh, shit. Oh, geez. So they, they were like, okay. Justified, okay, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm not finishing this degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'll count it and put it on my Twitter handle. Nice. <laughs> oh, well, it okay. wasn't his yeah. fault. It yeah, it fault. wasn't his fault. He, he, he would have earned it. He I, 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 I could have, yeah. Uh, did, he, did he play like Soul Calibur 2? Yes. And then he fought oh, the left Billy beat him. Oh, nice. Oh. Billy beat him in Soul Calibur. Shout nice. out to 89.9. Yeah. <laughs> 89.5 is it play fm no 99.5 play, play fm, FM. yeah, yeah radio yeah radio show things. thing yeah. so i was marking out about the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, sure? and, and during the day i was marking out so bad like what i was like i was i was not <laughs> cool your own I, I was not cool about it like i was blasting the sacred of poise level like max oh shit. if, if he punched me he would have instantly killed me um <laughs> And you would have like the biggest smile on your yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You <laughs> <Ooh>, baby. <laughs> so, like, like I was, I was handing him like stuff to sign. Like I showed him my. Yeah, like, you showed I him had, his, I, your I showed Assassin's him Creed artwork. Yeah. Yeah. How did he um, react to the KKK in your art? So yeah. <laughs> I have this great. Explain that again. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. basically, uh, um, 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 Rafi has this art of. Like a Filipino version of Assassin's Creed, yeah. But um, she's holding up a flag of the KKK. Na katip katastasang kagalang galangan katipunan ng Pilipinas. Yep. Mga anak ng bayan. Nang anak na? Mga anak, anak, ng, ng, bayan. anak ng bayan. Mga anak ng bayan. Yes. yes. Okay. Yun. If, if Donna was awake, she'd correct us. Yeah. <laughs> she I called learned it. something from yeah. school. It was that. But yeah, how did he so react? Then, like I, I have this great photo set of him, like looking at it. Flipping through, and then pointing at it, <laughs> and then laughing to his bouncer. Oh, oh no! Which, by the way, his bouncer was like sixteen times the size of him. Really? He's huge, dude. Like he, oh, he, he might not be a mortal man. Oh, so he's from just here, like, or was he? He's did, a did big he bald dude. Na parang siya na lang ata yung gold school. This big buff bald dude. So is it like the opposite of like Jason Momoa? Because have you seen his bodyguards? What? Yeah, he's yeah, shorter than him. Really? Dude, dude yeah. like all of his bodyguards are like shorter, less buff. It and looks like, like he's protecting them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're like the perspective manipulators or something <laughs> to make him seem bigger. Oh. But, but like that's also interesting to know that it's just the two of them acting as security. So it's Xavier and the big buff bodyguard guy. So it's like, <laughs> I feel like they can handle any threat between the two of them. <laughs> and like... When they walked into the room, the security guard was checking out everyone. It's like, I can take every single one of these nerds. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just stand in the back. They won't need me here. Oh, man. So, but yeah, there's that. The Xavier Woods thing. So he was laughing. And I, like I, I explained the, the that. the photos were in sequence. Yes. There's also this great right. one. That, here's uh, Rafi showing his heart. Yeah. Here's Xavier Woods seeing the KKK. And pointing, pointing at, at it. it. Here's Rafi explaining it. Here's <laughs> Xavier Woods laughing. It's great. There's a, there's one there's one of me just holding my hand out. Wait, I can explain. <laughs> like, wait, I can explain. <laughs> what do you say? It's so good. Uh, he just he just nods like he he just nodded. He laughed and then he nodded. He he was like, hey hey hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I explained it, it it, it meant a different Your thing. Friend. And some guy backed me up. He was like he he was calm about it. And when I said like it was our historic revolution thing, I I feel like he was being very respectful. Mm-hmm. But in his own head, he was like. <laughs> what is this? this should call I mean, I mean, it happens every time. It happened last time with Luke Cage too, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And the and the flavors of negros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flavors of negros. Yeah, right. Right. We had, we got that some explaining to do. As yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. Ah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, that's that. Um, I still got a bunch of stuff, but since I'm going long, I'll save it for next week. Um, like I did Manila Wrestling and I, nice. I played Castlevania Ari of Sorrow. Really? Oh, nice. It is the one that I played from way back. Oh, that's oh, good. sick. The cool. Probably next week. I can't wait for next week to yeah. hear about this. So I'll just end my segment with Flicks and Like yeah, a Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's got all of one fan. Yeah. And it's sitting <laughs> sitting to my left. And also, you can't see. shout outs to, to uh, other Netflixers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, who's flexing uh, right now? I need someone to 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 uh, uh, act this out with me. Okay, <laughs> okay. Who wants to do it? Uh, 
I got gotcha. you. I got the you. voice actor you do, will do it. You do Mariah, all right? Who right. <laughs> I'll, do sh- I'll do Shades. Wait. Oh, no. I, so this is from I Luke know Cage. This. I fucking know this. Wait. So this is from Luke Cage, uh, season two. <laughs> Mariah's fake Oprah, right? Yeah, yeah. Fake Oprah. Okay. Pow- powerful political Oprah. Go, uh, go, go. So Southern so, Girl. Southern Girl. So Shades goes, the second you push Cornell through the glass, you became a gangster. And this ain't how gangsters do. And how do gangsters do? They adapt. They boogie. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> that was good. No the, way. That is a real line, sir. No that was one of the line. best Which things. is this? Season two. two. Really? Like, no it's so good. Like the exchange between Mariah and Shades are one of the best things. It's actually pretty in intense. C- in but cage. when I heard this line, it's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that like, script is something. Oh my god. Shades like, is like the people don't, villain for me. Normal people don't talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> normal people. Yeah, superhero dude. villains talk like that. Even bad guys don't talk like that. Well, now they do. Well, Only got, in Harlem. I got, I got, <laughs> Only in Harlem. I got so many more. From Luke Cage. <laughs> it is a gold mine. Dude. To watch Luke Cage season two. Yeah, just for this. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just for the script. Go Jesus. Play. Not right. bad. Is that, that flexing like a mofo? Yep. Yeah. Is that going to be our title? Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. That's, yeah. A that's a regular, regular segment. segment. Of the segment. Mm-hmm. We, we need a jingle, though. <laughs> <laughs> we can create one. Yo, so Dang. Migs, I'm passing it on to you. What oh, happened shit. to your week, my man? Well, since uh, you haven't finished the episode yet. Yes. I actually only listened to a bit of it. Mm-hmm. Um, um, last oh, episode. Our last episode. The oh, one yeah. without me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the fun one. So, so, oh. so, so last week, I, I was starting to watch, uh, I started watching Narcos Mexico. Oh, yeah. okay. So I finished it now. Is it good? And it's, 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 it's something. Yeah. Because it's, I enjoyed like um, season one and two of Narcos. Yeah. Uh, so like, is this one good? Because um, I good. tried watching season three and I kind of fell off the boat. Oh, because it's just the car, it's just the Cali cartel and that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, Pablo's yeah. gone though. Yeah, uh, season three. I enjoyed season three a bit. Yeah, like uh, Pedro Pascal is still a good like protagonist, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and and you know even if it's the Cali cartel that's the main focus of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they still have some some interesting like um, arcs in that season, but here in Narcos Mexico. So yeah, uh, just to recap what uh, I've already told. <coughs> these boys last week mm-hmm. is that it it focuses on the mexican drug war okay and it was before the cartel was formed the, the mexican cartel was formed so is agent um, peña still there yeah yeah no wait peña yeah oh uh, oh peña not michael peña yeah. uh <laughs> no 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 <laughs> the, 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 agent peña because because michael peña is uh playing a da agent oh okay named, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Enrique, just in this season. Yeah, in this season, because Narcos Mexico Not is like years. a spin-off mm-hmm. oh, of the main the Narcos. Uh, I was about series. to say, yeah, that. something like that. But I was gonna say New York. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> we we had both like a, get There was a party bus set that. <laughs> I remember this episode of CSI in New York where they investigated a party, a party train. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Do you okay. This? No. Like, Not at all. That was the. Main Oh, so what that happened? was the main problem. That, that was the main setting of the case. Okay. Was that? <laughs> what was it? Go on. Uh, when the subway closes down at night, there are these illicit groups that go in there and party. <laughs> Dude, and what's the they, crime though? I don't know. That someone died or apparently. In the party in CSI I mean, Miami. Yeah. So, they so what's do. the hook? Yeah. It's long. They, they explore the culture of like, there's this rave going on every night in the subway. <laughs> Dude, these crime dramas wow. like used to be like my big guilty pleasure. I, I mean, yeah. I think that's why I enjoy shit like Narcos because yeah. like it feels like that. It feels like well, that era. Only this time it's like true crime. Yeah, drama, yeah, it's true crime. So it's much more grittier. But, but CSI is fiction. Yeah, yeah super. for sure. It's Nobody like, has that kind of technology yeah, yeah, with I was the hacking, I, zooming. I thought it was like true crime, like for real nah, true crime. Dude, nah, dude, yeah, nah. Enhance. Enhance. Yeah, enhance. Yeah, yeah. And this is, they were dude, all doing like yeah. some minor... Minority Report crap. Dude, have you ever tried zooming into a JPEG? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. It doesn't work. I, I know someone who got That's asked to do that. 
<laughs> what? Because he works in the... Oh, no. Artist. And his boss <laughs> saw it on TV. Yeah. Hey, can you enhance this picture? <laughs> <laughs> Ruin his day. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that just reminds me. Because, like, like I said, this is, like, my guilty pleasure, like, back in the day. I used to watch a lot of NCIS, too. Mm. And, like, I remember an episode of NCIS where they say, Oh, no, our database is being hacked. <laughs> And then, like, the girl starts mashing furiously on her keyboard to fight the hack. Wow. And then, no, no, that's, the, the, video game like, that's not even the worst part. And, like, the worst part is the other smart guy in the group says, I'll help you. And he gets on the same keyboard <laughs> and starts mashing <laughs> two people on one powers. keyboard with their combined powers. Oh, they can man. fight off this hack. Yeah. Harder you match. And like, where were they when the elections got? <laughs> <laughs> and like, that's not they even. Didn't match hard enough. <laughs> and like, that's not even the only thing that C- like NCIS gets wrong with like fucking technology. I remember this one thing where they focused on massive multiplayer online oh, games. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And like, they were looking into it, and they were like, "Oh, this person, he has the high score." In a massive <laughs> multiplayer <laughs> online game. In oh, what? I in mean, what? like like PvP, sure, okay. like the leaderboards is, and crap. But no, he has the highest is this score. score. Is no, this highest you, yeah? Is the this high an episode score. where they reference the aliens uh, tagline where where the protagonist says, "No, game over, man." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Man. That might be when it. He dude. Caught the crook. But yeah, back to Narcos. Right. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's, it stars Michael Pena as Agent uh, Enrique Camarena, aka Agent Kiki. Kiki. So that sure. that bit, yeah. Uh, like I said last week, I kind of had a hard time taking it seriously because it's Michael Pena, but it also, proved me. Also, guy King called Kiki. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. but uh, during like when it was in the mid uh, uh, art of the season it 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 got good like it, 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 good. Good. <laughs> it got good it got really good uh okay. michael pena well he really acted like it was it was a serious role and he, he wasn't extinctioning it up nope he was <laughs> okay. when he was like he was during the first episode but it gradually okay. became like he gradually became the character okay that's good so that was a good sign that's and good. although you still get a, a few giggles a bit whenever he just I stares at the so. distance, mm. you know, <laughs> of course. doing yeah, Michael Pena stuff. Thinking of robots. <laughs> thinking of robots and this cousin he had. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and yeah, it was, a, it was a great season. Okay, uh, number one question, though. Right. Yep. Do I need to finish season three in order to understand this? Nah. Nah? No. I can go in? Yeah, it's a, it, it's a spinoff. And it's actually set... Uh, I guess before or at the same time, sure. season one was. Oh, really? Uh, so, so do you have need to at least see season one. So basically, not, Pablo not necessarily. Still doing his thing. Like, uh, there are some cameos. There was some Easter eggs. Okay. On some episodes, but uh, it, it it's on its own thing. You know, it's it's going on its own thing. Yeah. So that's that's good. So it's uh, you can just watch Narcos Mexico. Nice. Uh, without even watching the first the three thing's seasons. Called Narcos Mexico. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a sweet. It has a sweet opening theme music. Yeah. yeah. As sweet as season one and two. Yeah, it's it's the same. Uh, oh, it's the same. Oh, yeah, it's okay. the same theme. We won't get coke again. We won't get coke again. We won't get coke again. That's it. Coke? Drugs. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it started Drugs. out weed, then he. He eventually right. switched General to General paraphernalia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The drugs. But other than that... El droga. El droga. Uh, other than that, I finished... <laughs> I finished God of War. God of War Whoa. 4. You finished Game the dad? Nice. Yeah. I, fin- ooh, I finished ooh, the dad ooh, of ooh, War. Ooh, I, I, I did my homework. Nice. It's a uh, tell us, tell us. <laughs> I mean, it, it was... It's gotta be it, up there. It was... a a surprisingly long game. I didn't expect it to be that long. Cool. Uh, Given all the other God of Wars being eight-hour games. Yeah, this one's like I don't know, close to thirty or forty Ooh, hours. Wow, RPG like. Yeah, so and the uh, the story is nice. Like, uh, it's it's uh, it is an adventure. I think that's it's it's the best way to ex- to like describe it. Mm. Um, it's the quintessential hero's journey. 
Not uh, much. No. Really? Actually, it's basically uh, it's basically about the dad um, raising, yeah. raising oh, a son he hasn't so like uh, like because Atreus isn't like his actual son. It's 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 his spoiler. Like no no it's a uh, it's the mom's child. Oh, then he just showed up. And he just showed up because he's from. He's from Greece. Yeah, we all know. So he's a Spartan, yeah. and he suddenly became the from, from the Norse. Yeah, but yeah, and it, they didn't really like. That's something that that surprised me when I was like when so I finished that the game. Disconnect. No wonder there's that big disconnect present. Yeah, that's it's not his actual biological. He's not his mm, biological. Okay. It's not. It's not. He's not his biological son. It's it's from the that's mom's why side. He's awkward. Yeah. But it, 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 it's still like pretty much the hero's journey, though, right? It's not about him himself. Oh, okay. No, I so, think uh, there might be a misunderstanding. Um, I'm, I'm talking about um, Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey, as in like the steps of a story when you're trying to tell like a story. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obi Wan shows up. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know. Explain. Oh no. It, yeah, yeah, tell us like a we're, short we're summary of a hero's head. journey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, the story hero. It's just like 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 um um the basic story beats you follow when you're trying to tell a story. Like um there's oh, yeah. there's Which um part? um the ordinary world. Yeah. That's yeah, step yeah. one where where mm. where you're like um everyday life blah blah blah. Um then there's the call to adventure. Mm. Then there's the refusal of the call. You you kind of like um Shun go it. against the adventure and then you yeah, meet yeah. the mentor. There's all sorts of steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like an actual it, story. It, it loosely follows that kind mm-hmm. of format, but that's the thing. Like, um, <laughs> time is it time? All right. I think. I, I think it's. I think I it's accidentally tapped ease. my glass <laughs> with my vape. <laughs> God of War Four is different because your main character. You're still controlling Kratos, mm. but since he's kind of like a fallen anti-hero yeah he, he is killed everyone. he's a big mm-hmm. asshole yeah. he's the hero because you played his journey to mm-hmm. killing everyone that's true I think I think the, were assholes though like it loosely follows that kind of uh, format but instead it's it's about him uh, re- reconnecting or connecting to this to this child that he doesn't oh. know mm-hmm. and this child teaching him or reconnecting to him in a way that it is human. Like, is it a redemption it's, 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 story? It's basically a god trying to teach him, Ooh, like, okay. like trying they're, to teach his son. They're teaching each other. Yeah, they're teaching each other. The kids. That's yeah, cool. that's cool. I'm into that. Like, see, Kratos is like, I don't. He's very disconnected now with the son, mm. but at the same time, like this kid looks up to him. Yeah, and they're kind of learning off each other. Kratos yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that more human. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is what proper adults should do. Yeah, and then and the then, kid is also learning how to like fight. Yeah, how it. how mm-hmm. how to survive? How to not trust gods? Because in yeah, this gods world, are gods assholes. are assholes. Super assholes. Super assholes. <laughs> we get to see gods. Yep. Never Bunch trust gods. gods yeah. uh, you try uh, to fight them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's that's the thing. Like, uh, how many, how many, talk <laughs> how many gods <laughs> are we talking? In the intro part, you do meet one of the gods. Yeah. So. He gives Kratos a run for his god money. Yeah. Oh, shit. God money. God Dude, dollars. That, that, that fight sequence is probably one of the hypest things. Yeah. You put your god cool. money where mm-hmm. your god you, mouth is. <laughs> you gotta see it. But yeah. God, <laughs> god damn it. Uh, but <laughs> it. Uh, yeah. Upon, upon finishing the story, like yeah. I was surprised at how how mature it was. Nice. Like because uh yung yeah. yung 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 is um, they have a set goal, eh? like Kratos needs to, go needs to go somewhere to just like uh, release uh, the ashes, the ashes, the ashes of, of his wife. wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Oof, that's really? his main quest, yes. and that is his call to adventure. Yeah. And during the no. during during the story, like yeah, there are stuff that um, it became like bigger. Than them because is the gods like, were involved a, now. Yeah, there's an ongoing mystery. Yeah, the, yeah. the boy Ooh. is special. Yeah, Ooh. something like that. But is, I was surprised because the ending was still about their journey of just going 
to this we place. We gotta get up there and, and just spill these spill ashes, these ashes. My man. Man, I gotta and instead escape. of the Final Fantasy thing, that yeah. We have and to save the can world. I can I kind of spoil or no? What? No, no. I, don't no. Think it's too early. I think it's, yeah, too, it's too early. early. You can but try. Yeah. Came up this year. No, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't, don't. I actually know what you're talking about. Don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you about it. about it. I don't, and I have the game. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, um, it really surprised me. And it's, it is it is a really unique take on on the story. I mean, it's not really a unique take, but a unique way to like uh, finish the game and end it. Subverts expectations? Yeah, something is like that. Is this an Undertale? No. No, 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 no. Is the Evangelion of... <laughs> is oh, no. Evangelion? Oh, hell no. That was, that was <laughs> way too different. It's standard video game. Yeah. Ending. Yeah. For sure. It's like, nice. cool. And um, get on it. But the, thing, thing, like, the thing is, personally, I'm not really into uh, how the, the producers or, or the creators of, of God of War in general mm-hmm. kind of twist... Uh, the mythos of of the gods, okay. even on the like the first three uh, games, I'm not really right. that much of a fan of God of War because uh, I'm not like it didn't wow me a bit oh, yeah. on on how they kind of because they mixed up uh, how this god is this god and this right. god is this god because you know they introduced Kratos, which is a different dude, it's a made up character, yeah, yeah. and you know uh, it also ref- like what the. You want them to have been lore accurate? Is that what you want? Uh, not really, but uh, it's it's just me that. Um, Are you just not they, interested with like the mythology in itself? No, I am interested in Norse mythology, but the way they twisted it, uh, I'm not really like I didn't hate it on it. Like I mean, you're not I didn't. A super fan of the liberties that they took. Um, yeah, something like that. Like there are some bits better. and pieces. Like give us an example. Were, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. <laughs> really? Yeah, but hey, from the old games. For the old games? Yeah, yeah. So just so we know what you're talking about. Well, there's one about like Athena and you know like Ares. Oh um, yeah, on, on, on the concept asshole. on God of War. But I mean, Athena. There are stories about Athena. Or she's on. an asshole. She, yeah, yeah, because she's a God of War. They're all assholes no. at some point, dude. But, this well, is like the world of assholes. Yeah. yeah. Zeus literally fucked her. Yeah. He's dick. Like, if you can see it with your eyes, you're, he's dick is probably dick in it. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. like, yo, that cow, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> probably one. Yeah, I yeah. guess. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, dude. Hera, look. Look at this <laughs> cow. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, it makes it so bad, dude. It's I mean, funny. But it's that's a bad who does the voice for but it. I can't. Yeah. I can't put that. Guy also, like, I think. Stuff. I think Hercules <laughs> was like featured old. also in some of the games, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in is. three, but we're in two. I think it's three. Hercules. Three. Hercules, Hercules is one of the boys. Yeah, he's one of the boss in three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, super killer. Yeah, he fights and a super he's fucking super murdered him. Oh no, a God of War. Oh, I thought the Hercules games. No, no, no. no. You fight Zeus. Speaking of like Disney's Hercules, have you seen that picture floating around of like yeah, Zeus from Hercules oh, oh, um, no. without a beard? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That was, yes. that was so oh, bad. No. He no. has absolutely no chin. Mm. It's amazing. <laughs> his face it's just, makes the chin. Yeah, his it's face like structure does man. not allow for a chin. <laughs> Super big neck. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, just look it up. Hercules, Zeus, no beard. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, another thing I could talk about God of War is the the battle mechanics. Um, is the camera still your true enemy? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And uh, at, at first, I was not really feeling it. Right. Uh, but until at the middle part of the game, like the thing opened up, and it was it it, it was good. Like. Does it become less crowd controlly? Uh yeah, and uh, you got a lot of options mm-hmm. during the middle of the game, like. It like you get new weapons and you open like it opens up a new nice, like new nice. abilities and you even get more boy options. Yeah, you get yeah. more boy it was skills. Really mm-hmm. he was a, yeah, he was really helpful and um, yeah, like in the end, it felt really enjoyable. Like um, doing battles in the game, nice. uh, it, it it kind of um, crushed my expectations on how. Because I expected it to be oh, God of War, like they're trying to j- just follow Dark Souls on, on the thing, yeah. and they kind of failed miserably. Then press circle to sex the lady. Uh, no, the there is no. There was no press circle to sex it, the lady. No, I mean it's it's <laughs> it's a, a mature. Yeah, yeah he's a, a different. He had a now. wife. 
Yeah, yeah a That's female a wife. No. Be not this cow. I would never oh, sex this breasts. lady. <laughs> yeah, not in front of the boy. Boy, <laughs> boy. <laughs> but yeah, I need some private um, time with this cow. Oh, I want to ask one thing. Right. The only question that matters: spiders. Are there spiders? Are there spiders? Hmm. No, right? No, they're not. Yeah, no, spiders. Uh, no spiders. No right. spiders. All right. it's we in business. Playable. We in mm-hmm. business. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost threw my copy of Spider-Man out because... Because of spider, <laughs> uh, the fire, the very first. When you press new game, is a freaking spider. I mean, it's too. fucking Spider Man, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> when we were streaming to GG. Yeah. yeah. And I, I played this game by this time. Uh huh. I sweared on the stream, and it wasn't allowed. Oh the no! Freaking, the freaking thing. Wait, it wasn't allowed. What? It wasn't allowed to swear. I we weren't allowed oh. to swear. Dude, yeah, you can. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. But like the kids are watching. I couldn't have. Like, I, I saw I couldn't the rapper look the way too. This part, I did this. Like the. No, no, you physically turned away. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, like the. <laughs> oh, and Basi was like, Ugh. I don't know why. This this is totally the Booker T moment when he slipped <laughs> up on the N word. <laughs> That's what happened to me. So oh we have, man. Yeah. yeah. So to hear no spiders, we doing this. Spiders yeah, are your one weakness. Rafi has that Skyrim mod. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Out the spider models. No spiders mod. With jank bears. <laughs> <laughs> With a web coming out of their butt and everything. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, yeah. that's I anything that's else happening your week? No, nah, that's my week. At your week? Basically my week. I finished oh. God of War. Does it beat your actual game of the year? Nope. Nice. What's your actual Spider game of the year? Near on the map. I need to get it, on if, that. If it's, if it's this year, it's games played this year. Yeah, it's year it's on. kind of hard because um, Spider Man. It's yeah, it's a good it's old good. boy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the Spider Man uh, reference know. for and the week. You have no idea how much I want to play as Spiders, man. Uh, dude, no, I want dude. to play as Green's Goblin, dude. <laughs> dude Shout out to Aries. Fox 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 dude, my, the one. my favorite one you guys came up with was Doctor's Octopus. Oh yeah, it's, it's just a, a bunch, bunch of doctors, doctors pretend to be octopus. They're an octopus. Dude, what about Captain's America? It's Captain's just a fucking America. army of a country. It's just the, it's army. Just the army of America. <laughs> yeah. What soldiers? They're all, all captains. captains. They don't listen to each other. Yeah. Oh, dude. I think the worst one. chain of command? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Captain. <laughs> Which Captain? What about you, Captain? What do you think? Oh, no. Oh, no. Who do we follow? <laughs> oh, the country. What a dilemma. Uh, <laughs> Captain's America. I think the worst one we've came up with was Black's Widow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's not even entertain no, that. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Let's just move on to Hawk's Eye. Dude, Hawk's Eye. A it's bunch, a of, bunch hawk... of birds just holding like arrows. <laughs> oh, man. Absolute worst. Uh, uh, <laughs> we love you, Spiders Man. Jeans I, Gray. What, what is that universe like, where Spiders Man lives in? Are all the heroes like that? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'd like, I to can't think, I'd like to think it's just a normal universe, but the radioactive spiders got the powers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a human. laughs> right, right, right. And they're like, we they got, are Peter Parker. They got the power I from can. a radioactive man, dude. And it talked. Oh, and Spider's Man talked. If, if any, do I that. can't. I don't know. If anyone's if listening can't. out there and like they don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> we're talking about Spider's Man, which is from the Spider Verse, right? Yeah. And, and like it's just a collection of spiders that think they're Peter Parker, <laughs> and they're all just stuffed into the costume. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see that the costume is drawn like they're like oh, yeah I broken can't. up yeah like yeah, like there's a bunch of moving there. around yeah. spiders yeah. in there. I cannot, I cannot. Then we just they like function? I love you, spiders, man. <laughs> I, I don't. Oh yeah, many just people don't. Stay Dude, away. I love stay it. Many man. people I think it's a like, great <laughs> concept, man. How about is it <laughs> Professor X? <laughs> oh, dude, what about Nightcrawler? <laughs> Night Scrawler? It's just Night Scrawler. Professor X is just like. A bunch of professors who don't have girlfriends anymore. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, that's bad. They, they devoted themselves to, to to study. But seriously, oh, no. like uh, shout outs to Aries about that Green's Goblin. <laughs> Green's, Green's Goblin, Green's Goblin like is he's, so good because yeah. he works on so many levels. Yeah, Dude. like if you don't finish your veggies, <laughs> finish it. <laughs> Green's Goblin. No one says no to me. <laughs> oh fucking hell! Oh, no. oh dude. Raffi's losing that fucking Green's Goblin. 
Reggie's he can do it. Kyle's kids. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mikoy, what was going on with your <laughs> week? I don't think I can top Green's Goblin. It, it's tough. It's a tough act to follow, but you got to do it. You got to try. I did get, like, uh, Netflix homework. Oh, yeah? Because, nice. like, people have been trying to get me to watch Final Space. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's and I that. just can't. They're different people. Oh, okay. But I just can't get behind the humor because it's not... What is Final Space? I've been seeing it floating around. It's a cartoon. Around. Yeah. And, like, the, the mystery seems all right. Uh-huh. The actual, like, story seems all right. But the main character acts like it's he's an asshole. Like, yeah, yeah, but he his humor is like think of Rick and Morty humor, but it doesn't blend well because it's just one guy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like one guy making like Rick and Morty levels of uh, you know, okay. out of box humor. Yeah, but everyone else like ignores it. Is it kind of like how I couldn't get behind Disenchanted? Yeah, I haven't watched it, but it's probably. giving me the same vibes. Yeah, I, I tried watching a few episodes and it just kind of like falls flat. I, I tried one. The, the pacing is weird. And like, like I appreciate like I appreciate that Eric Andre is there, but like, <laughs> yeah, this, I think that's the only good thing about Encha- Disenchanted. Yeah, is yeah. Eric Andre is there and Matt Berry. <laughs> oh, that's oh, nice. True. Yeah. But Matt Berry like went away after. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. he's just he's just there for like two episodes or three episodes. Well, in Final Space, I'm like two and a half episodes deep. And, like, I have to watch one episode multiple times before I can get through it. Yeah. Oh, man. Because so, you just can't pay attention. I just yeah. can't. Like, I get annoyed. And, like, mm. I just, why am I so watch something else? Is like, that chore? Yeah. It oh, feels I... like I'm being forced to watch it, even mm. though I'm not really. Mm. So, as I was about to watch the second half of episode two, mm-hmm. I see in the recommends The Hollow. Mm. I've seen that. Yeah. Doesn't that start out with like a sex scene? No, what? Yeah. No. Okay, I might no. be talking about the wrong thing. <laughs> I mean, it does share its title with a lot. Okay. Is very <laughs> yeah, but this is a cartoon. I just exposed Whoa, myself. Okay. A cartoon. This is a cartoon. Start, about... Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'll make it worse. Okay. It starts off, it's a, it's a 2D cartoon and they're kind of like motion tween animated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's done, like I thought it would be cheesy, but it's done really well for the most part. Cool. Okay. So it starts off with three people waking up in a room and it's a room escape. So immediately Whoa, like, oh, okay. It's like this, a, yes. a white box room Ooh, I'm uh, bricks and mm-hmm. all that's there is like the people don't remember anything. Yeah. They don't know each other. They don't know their names. They just wake up and then that's it. There's a typewriter in the middle of the room. Like a good Holy death shoot. game does. So like they try to remember what's going on. They find like slips of paper in their pockets mm-hmm. with a name. Yeah. Oh, so I guess my name is Adam. And then wow, this is yeah. reminiscent to 999 Doors. Kind of, yeah. but not to the same extent. Yeah. Is this a genre, by the way? Yeah. The, the only other thing that I know from this is the, the, the room? Song. Oh, the song. So oh, like, no, uh, I guess, yeah. And like, the devil. Remember? But, like, usually, like, death games, like, battle royale types. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, right? Yeah, but this usually is more, like, king, kid-friendly. Mm. So kid-friendly, once, huh? It's, once they escape the room, they're in, a like, a different world. They're in a jungle. Yeah. Oh. And then they have oh. to, like, escape this area. There's a bigger mystery in play. They meet wacky characters. And it's uh, two to oh. ten episodes long. Oh, yeah. 30, 20 minutes each. Oh, yeah. I finished it in one sitting. So oh jeez! Well, there goes five hours. So this is Good. this is a cartoon show or is it anime? It's an animated cartoon ah. show. Okay. And you know, but on motion tweeny style. Interesting. What does that mean? Where like they take a instead of drawing a new piece yeah. every time they move, yeah, they squash and stretch. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. when it requires them to change, then they draw a new like art element. Uh, mm-hmm. But okay. otherwise, like their eyes like move left and right instead of actually having the character turn. What what are examples used in cartoons? The term is um, tweening. No, I mean uh, uh, flash animation. Flash cartoons. animation. Oh, yeah, a lot of flash yeah, animation yeah. does yeah. that. Yeah. So instead of drawing in between frames, they like make just a frame, move. then like, oh, you're gonna move from here to here, and it kind of just like drags itself all the way there. Got it. I don't get it. Okay. It's, it's done in a really good way. So that's that's it. Like, yeah. I don't want to spoil. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's a short show. Oh man. Like, I'll try if to I say it anymore, it like, sounds that cool. Might, it does but sound it's cool. It's not a death game. I saw this like the screenshot you posted, and it does okay. kind yeah. of seem interesting because I thought it was a horror show. You fo- some people uh, thought an, it was an animated, yeah, an animated like horror or I don't know gothic it's not, show. It's not. So I'll yeah, it's I'll check it out. It's a lot more lighthearted than that. Ah. But I think it's done in a classy way. 
Interesting, with, interesting. With the name called the, the, the Hollow, I, I expected a lot of yeah. Saw vibes. Like blood, Me too, to be honest. I expected like stuff. Death Game, but no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's why I assumed it nobody, was a Death Game. There's no blood, no nothing. Oh, yeah. There's magic. Ooh. Ooh. Always good, always good. That's like our... the first character they meet is like some dude who looks like he's from a 70s cartoon. Yeah. He has like bright blue skin, he has a purple suit, he's got shades, and he can teleport you anywhere. Okay, sure. that's dopey. So and like, Mr. Spick, at, and Spick, the setting Spick. for when they meet him was like, they're being chased by three demon dogs. Interesting. They have to get over an electric fence by triggering a trap in like, um, in a maintenance room somewhere else. Yeah. Situations, the show. Mm, like that. <laughs> the We're trapped show. in a room. Mm. Well, give it a good yeah. watch of The Hollow on I'll Netflix. Yeah, I'll check I'll it out. I'll check it out. I'll give it a few episodes. So, I think that leaves just me. Yeah. Japan. Yeah. Japan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. You got me. But yeah, um, um, I was not on the previous episode because I was away in the land of the rising sun for around 10 days. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no. Um, technically, I mean, technically it was 10 days, but technically it wasn't really 10 days because... Um, Timelines. No, nah, yeah, because like um, our flight... Going to Japan was so late that the first day doesn't even really count. Oh, yeah. Went there and slept. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our first day was like, uh, Jesus Christ. I mean, like, um, we got to the airport at like 10 p.m. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, we landed yeah. at like 10 p.m. and then we needed to wait for like no, not 10 p.m. Maybe around nine, eight. But then we had to wait for the last train. Right. At ten, oh. in order to get to our hotel. Okay. So like we spend an hour at the airport. We get to our hotel at eleven. We just kind of sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then like on the very last day, our flight was like in the morning, Ooh. and we had to leave the hotel at four a.m. So technically, it kind of felt like eight days. Yeah, you were out <laughs> yeah. of like a few days there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, like besides that, it was pretty much it's Japan. Like I love being in Japan. I think. The one thing that always spoils me whenever I'm in Japan is like, because when I'm here, I drive, right? Yeah. Mm. And like, I don't know how to commute at all here in the Philippines. No, mm. you can drink. No, like, I know how to commute, but like, I don't. And I'm like, it I, doesn't suit your style. Yeah, but like, over in Japan, I'm like the commute lord. <laughs> it's like, I fucking love commuting. I know where the trains go. I know. It, it's, I thought like, when you said the commute lord, you, you do the Will Smith pose, like, <laughs> where it's pointing at something. <laughs> like, Bus, taxi, <laughs> dude. Like, Subway. like the thing that spoils me the most about it is like the trains really arrive on the minute. That's like oh. the best part for me. Oh. It just uh, I can tell you horn you for that, dude. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like the best because like I can schedule my day to the minute. It's amazing. Oh, oh yeah, I love this. <laughs> I can tell. Efficiency. I can tell. Dude, it's so efficient. <laughs> what, an, what an efficiency boner. Dude, it's like, oh, the train gets here at 10.07. No, no that's not, not, not even not. a 10. Oh, I need new pants. Dude, oh. it's like, um, it was uh, around late fall-ish, about to be winter. Uh, so it was yeah. getting kind of cold. Um, mm-hmm. It was actually Donna's first time like there during like a cold season. Okay. That was a new experience for her. How cold are we talking about? Um, like around winter, probably yeah. it was hitting give me that Celsius fan um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I think at the coldest it got around 7 degrees oh, yeah. yeah yeah, and um, the best part about the cold season for me is like my favorite part about going to Japan like during the cold season is the canned corn the soup. canned corn soup Ooh, I saw you, them post yeah yeah have you ever experienced this Rafi because I know mm. you've been to Japan like during like um, a cold season. Yes, Where I have. You disrespect of the I, cold. Yes, and it's not you in the face. <laughs> I underestimated yeah. the cold and it gave me the fucking stunner. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've never had. I, I've been there in the cold season. I have not tasted the soup. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, in uh, almost every vending machine, yeah. you'll just see two cans. That like one is just a bunch of corn soup in a can. Corn yeah. soup. <laughs> And the other can is just a bunch of onion soup in a can. All right. Like, yeah, dude, like, for they me. They good? They good? Yeah, it's, like, the best thing. Because, like, uh-huh. it's it's absurd to me. It's, like, it's canned soup. And it's, like, a warm, hot can that you can hold and warm your hands. And so, then does it, it taste good? Yeah, it tastes good. And there are corn bits in it. Okay. It's fun. 
Because I've had the reverse. Vending machine magic. You've had the reverse. I've had the reverse in Taiwan. There's Run. this Taiwan. Um, what's, what's the opposite of corn? Cold no, corn cold, soup. cold soup. Cold soup? It, from a vending machine. Like borscht? It's terrible. <laughs> like, it <laughs> is absolutely terrible. Okay. Like, I'll show you a video of me eating the soup. I saw it's that. Like, I saw that like a year so ago. Right? It's like a... Uh, what are the bits? I don't even know what that... that <laughs> corn bits. That, like corn bits, but it's the shitty kind of corn, yung white. Oh, yung, oh, the, 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 the hard ones. The super ah, hard and sticky ones? Yeah, so, so, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and they're super sticky and they're like, like, like gross. The and super it, starchy and, corn. Yes, so mm-hmm. it's like tomato soup with that kind of corn with, and it's goopy. It's oh. like that good gold slimy. yellow corn. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it's cold! What the? It's purposely cold! During it's, a cold season, what's going on? I, I mean, I don't is know it if it's season. Or does it's, the it's machine just, just not vending machine it up? Um, I think it's meant to be served cold. Really? It's so gross! Like I always yeah. go to that machine every time. And it's why? Like, Do you always try it? Yeah, I always try it. Why, it's why? like so is it still, it's going to be different. <laughs> is it still terrible? The definition of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> drinking soup and drinking, drinking cold it's gonna corn. Be <laughs> But yeah, if ever you're in Japan during the cold season, make sure you watch out for like the canned corn soup because that's always my favorite thing. Yeah. Um, besides that, like we hit the usual spots. Uh, um, whenever I'm in Japan, I usually stay in Ikebukuro because mm-hmm. like it's like um, the best of like a lot of worlds. It's like um, it's 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 not as crazy as Shibuya. It's not as crazy as Akihabara. It's Ooh. Yeah, but it's like still really nerdy. There's still a lot of arcades there. Nice. There's there's nice. like actually a lot of people are calling Ikebukuro like the new like youth center. Like a lot of <laughs> no, what? I just it? laughed because he laughed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, because 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 like that's where the young people hang out these days. What? <laughs> What's happening? Why did you laugh at youth our, center? Why did you trip to the south? We were supposed to meet up at a different spot. Okay. Then yeah. me and Rafi were late because of traffic. Then Migs goes, I'm here. There's a lot of people. The youths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't go there now. Are we at that age where teenagers scare us? Yeah. The teenagers suck. Oh, yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. Oh, you don't man. know. You were one before. I mean, I think I was a pretty all right teenager. I hated myself. As a teen- <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. It's like I have an ooze. Teenagers. <laughs> what is that odious stench? Oh man! Like as usual, Japan was like uh, wonderful. Uh, we did the usual stuff. Um, what are the noteworthy things that happened? Dude, in talk to us about the the, the borderless. Everything. Oh, the, the borderless. Dude, that was that was so amazing. Okay, so uh, one of the cool things me and Don did uh, yes. while we were in Japan were uh, was that uh, we hit. Um, the two team lab um, exhibits that were in Odaiba. Mm. Um, one was uh, the limited um, art installation called Team Lab Borderless. Yes. And um, it's, it's, so great. it's basically this entire facility that's just like an interactive um, art installation. So like um, yeah. there, there's no guide, there's no map. You just kind of wander around and like it's so easy to miss rooms, like it's so like like during the start of like um, the tour, like they give you uh, an orientation and they tell you to explore because apparently there are secret rooms. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. So, Sounds so fun. And like uh, speaking of, because like when we got there, we thought we got there early, but like when we saw the line, Jesus Christ, the line was like wrapping around the block. It was super crazy. And I think I would have enjoyed myself if there were a, like slightly less people, Be- okay. mm. because like once you get in there, like it's like a maze, right? Okay. So you enter the exhibit, and uh, the first thing you see is yeah. like three arrows that point in three into three different hallways. Okay. And I never found my way back there. <laughs> wow! <laughs> cool. That must yeah, have been really. Did like a try? really big I, like dude, a try. yeah we tried so hard to get back to the crossroads yeah. we never found it again cool. it's like what if they moved <laughs> just to fuck with people yeah, yeah. You, it's just a sticker yeah. they take off from the ground this where is am I? <laughs> this is a different room now and like um, so you pick one of the paths and like you go through the entire facility and like um, most of the hallways are just like um, there is there is 
a consistent projection of like psychedelic imagery mm -hmm. all throughout uh, different rooms and each room changes throughout the day so it's so easy to get lost because like uh. Um, unless it's a really specific room, yeah. you're like, have I been here before? Because <laughs> the walls are different. So I guess they did move the it arrows might. and the fort. <laughs> they could have. Maybe. 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 It is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I think it's a maze. And like, it's, it's so... It's just the same room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same room. <laughs> just change the filter of the light. Yeah. yeah. And like, um, um, throughout the thing, it's like, um, like, for example, there'll be like, um, a 3D projection of an elk yeah. on a wall and it's just walking through the entire exhibit but wherever it walks it leaves behind flowers and butterflies oh, I thought you were going to say it leaves behind poop <laughs> so like That's um so like as the elk walks through the exhibit yeah. it, it like changes the entire exhibit and like a whole bunch of stuff like that is happening and that's on the first floor lab yeah and like Whoa, how many floors was wait this? a minute it was like fucking i i think it was four floors Wow. Because it was, Different. dude, it was really confusing because there were like secret rooms. There were like, because like at some point I saw someone walk into a wall and disappear. <laughs> and it was so like, it was they hot. got him. It's like, <laughs> what was going on there? They got um, Jimmy. It's like super cool because like, uh, for example, one of the exhibits is just um, a recessed um, part of a wall. Imagine wow. like a really shallow cave, right? Yeah. But you can't enter it. But they project a bunch of shit there that makes it feel 3D. Right. You know what I mean? Because like... They wily coyote you? Uh, something like that. It's like, um, since it's like a cave, yeah. right? Yeah. So it messes with your perception and then like the stuff they project on it makes it feel 3D. It was the weirdest thing. It's like, it's super cool. I think I can grasp what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you know those um, 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 optical illusions where the dog's always looking at you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, okay, okay, it's okay. kind of like the same principle, but with like a psychedelic show going on. Mm -hmm. It's like super cool. Wow. Dude, and um, so there, I really want to go there are so many other rooms. Like there was uh, an entire room just filled with um, glass. Oh, what? J just filled with like rows and rows and rows of glass. Man. And on each glass, there's a different hologram just yeah. performing. And like it's an entire oh. orchestra. Um, you know those traditional Japanese parades with all the instruments and right. like uh, all the dancers and stuff? Each projection is a different thing. And the closer you get to that projection, the more you can hear them. But like, oh, nice. uh, this is a good touch. And, and like while you're walking through the room, you can hear everything. But the closer you get to one thing, you yeah. can really hear their instrument. And it's like, it just creates this. Yeah, it's super cool. It's like, so it's good. so hard to describe. Yeah. I, uh, what were the highlights of that exhibit? Um, I think the water room. place with the water. Oh, yeah. th that's that's yeah, an yeah, entirely yeah. different exhibit. Oh, okay. yeah, because we went to two Team Lab exhibits. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, we went to Team Lab Borderless and Team oh, Lab yeah. Planets. Oh, yeah. I can talk about that one later. Sure, sure, sure. But like, um, I think the highlights of um, Borderless, um, <laughs> there was something called like the Athletic Forest. Because <laughs> all right. yeah. All right. yeah. sports, dude. Like, because That's a I think they were fucking with us. Because mm. <laughs> what do you call it? We we saw arrows that were pointing to the athletic forest, and like, so me and Don are like, okay, we haven't seen that one yet. So we we try to go to the athletic forest, yeah. and then it just leads us around <laughs> the exhibit until we hit a staircase. That has to be like four stories tall. It's like okay. this staircase just keeps going. <laughs> and we're like, oh, what's going on? And then once we reach the top of it, there's no forest, man. <laughs> that was it. Was, you went on the athletic Was that forest. the athletic the forest? Walk. The wait, walk wait what was the journey? What the was at the end of the staircase? I don't know. It was just <laughs> athletic forest. There were no, just what, arrows like, what, pointing to the athletic forest. But what did you see? What's at the top Nothing. Of the it's just a staircase. It did was the weirdest. Did it never end? Oh, I don't know, man. Man, it, that's open to interpretation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Art I mean, there are a lot of very Instagrammable rooms, like um, the room full of lanterns. Uh, that's like full of mirrors, so it like really messes with you. And like you can see, like while you're lining up for the room with the lanterns, yeah, uh, you could see into the room. Right? Okay. Right. There's like a window where you can see the people like um, walking through the room with the lanterns. But once you're in there, it's like a one-way mirror. So <laughs> you're just in a 
box oh, no. that's just all mirrors oh, with boy. lanterns. So oh, it's like boy. it really messes with you. So it didn't trigger any of your claustrophobia? No, not anything. at all, oh, actually. Great. Yeah. I think I was having too much of a good time for my claustrophobia to trigger. <laughs> How long could you be in there? Um, there's no time limit. So that's good. Like, that's yeah. good. When you go past the place, you can come back. And all that you stuff. can try. It's not a one way. Oh, you can yeah, try. you can try to come back, but oh, I got yeah. lost. Like, they really definitely lost. moved the arrows. Yeah. Um. Highlights. Highlights. For uh, there was this one cool room. It yeah, was yeah. Just a tea room. Yeah, yeah. And um, oh, I saw that. You just order tea, right? Yes. And uh, you get to choose through like different teas and stuff. Like they they give you the leaves. You smell the leaves, whatever. And then they brew it for you on the spot. Yeah. And the thing is, um, once they give you your tea. They rigged the table so that it detects your teacup. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I, I and so. uh, once you put down the tea on the table, it projects like a bunch of flowers into the bowl and they start blooming. But the the second you pick up your bowl to drink the tea, like all the flowers like blow up Ooh. and like like spread across the room. And like once you put back the tea, it's like it Pretty doesn't close. matter which spot. Yeah. It like reprojects new flowers into it. Oh, so cool. Yeah, it's super like, cool. I and so cool. I think the part where Don and I had the most fun is um, at the very top of the exhibit, um, there's like this activity space. Mm. And like <laughs> uh, the kids are just playing around with all the projections and stuff like that. But like there are art stations and they give you um, drawings to fill oh, in. Yeah. And uh, the first thing we tried out was like um, Donna got like a picture of a bird and we were unclear. We, were, we thought like, oh, geez, uh, this is just art station for coloring for kids or whatever yeah but don was like i want to color so we did it uh, um so she colored in a bird and apparently what you're supposed to do is um give it to the lady at the counter and she scans your drawing and it yeah. appears in the room so oh, yeah. um throughout this whole gigantic room there have been like um alligators and like 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 birds and like other animals just roaming yeah. around through the walls yeah. and we were like oh that's cool and then once we figured out what was happening all of those things were drawn by people yeah so, yeah and like there are rules of engagement <laughs> of course yeah 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 no penises no, no 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 rules of engagement as in um birds can eat blank Smaller. oh yeah nice. yeah crocodiles can eat blank and blank can eat blank if they, they eat enough each other yeah oh. it, if if your drawing eats enough it'll multiply mm. and 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 so like we were following Sorry. yeah so we were like following the journey of donna's drawing as it like decimated like populations it was super yes. cool yeah yeah, yeah, it, yeah. How, how far did it go uh it it got eaten by a crocodile after uh, a while uh, <laughs> but, but yeah as, as natural as predator bird. <laughs> but i think um the other thing we tried that was super fun too was um there was a room that was just projected as as an aquarium. Oh, I know this. Yeah, yeah. And, and they give you stuff to draw, like jellyfish, thing, right? starfish. Yeah. yeah, same thing. You scan it in and it appears in the aquarium. But Donna was like, <laughs> and like, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> evil excited laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just starts laughing and like, um, 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 she's like, yo, Emil, can you get me those two jellyfish templates? I'm going to draw shit on them. And like the first one was like, she draws the Yaranaika guy on it. Are you, yeah. are you aware? Yeah. 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 Okay, so... It's in deck box. It looks like this. Yeah. All right, like all right, all right. Japanese face joke. But... It's just like a Japanese handsome face. It's from this old uh, yaoi um, manga. Sure, <laughs> yeah. sure. sure. Yeah, course. it's from yeah. this old... Yeah, yeah, that face. That face. That Great guy, audio. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She draws it on a jellyfish. And the funny thing is, it's like, this room is full of kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's mostly know. kids. Yeah. And like some adults... And Donna's drawing the Yaranaika face onto a jellyfish. And um, the two titas beside us. Oh, no. We're just like, Subarashi, kakui, ezeka. Because Donna's really good at drawing and shit like that. And, and they were just going on about how handsome this, <laughs> this fucking drawing was. And we're just like, on a jellyfish. <laughs> and like, once we scan it in, it's like, like, like everyone's pointing at it. Everyone's having a good time. And like, the lady at the scanning station is probably the most dead inside lady like I, I've ever seen. She has the blankest look on her face and she's like, hi, hi. Yeah. But like, because you line up to have your drawing scanned and she's just like, hi, hi. And then she gets to me. I give her the Yeranaika jellyfish and she's just like, 
Subarashi. <laughs> just in the most deadpan voice and just yeah. scans it she's in. She's just like that. Yeah, yeah, she's just like that. And then the second <laughs> jellyfish that. <laughs> oh yeah. And then yeah. like, and like the second jellyfish that Donna draws is fucking Dio. Jojo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and he's making the fucking. It's me, Dio. It's me, face. Dio. <laughs> like that exact face, and like she even draws like the. Like, <laughs> the sound behind effect automatically. Yeah. yeah, it's super cool. And uh, we got a bunch of people to react to it. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know that reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, since I'm going long, let's go to the next exhibit. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Um, the next exhibit we went to was actually the Team Lab Planets exhibit. Which I think I enjoyed more because there were less people at it. Because okay. it wasn't like a limited thing. It's like an actual almost... I think it's permanent. Like, I think it's always there. Okay. Um, what but, does that mean? Um, I think it doesn't have a limited time. You know what I mean? I think you can just go there. It doesn't have a specific date that, oh, this exhibit's only going to be here for this much. Oh, does Borderless have that? Um, I think Borderless is a limited exhibit. Oh, I'm, man. I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, though. I, I have to check. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But I think it's it was super popular because it was the newer one. Ooh, um, okay. But uh, when we got to Team Lab uh, Planets, there was much less of a crowd, and I think that's why I enjoyed it more. Mm-hmm. And uh, they also brief you at the start of the exhibit, and they're like, yo, Water is involved, and we, <laughs> and like we were like, oh, oh, okay, and Donna was like, yeah, 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 I knew about this, and I was like, oh, I didn't, <laughs> and um, they provide lockers for everyone. Okay. They provide smart. rental shorts. That's yeah, cool. it, smart. It's of like all waist sizes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like uh, uh, one size fits all rental shorts, and they just warn you that yo, uh, the water can get like beyond knee deep. So just ah. like um, roll up your pants, Holy and shit. like they even warned the girls that, yo, some of these rooms are just mirrors. So if you're wearing a skirt, yo, um, <laughs> may, maybe borrow some of the shorts. Yeah. So that smart, smart, yeah, smart. smart, super smart, super cool. And so when you get in, um, you take off your shoes, um, you roll up your pants. If you need to buy shorts, you, you can rent some shorts, mm. and uh, you get your locker. And you walk in, and the first thing that greets you is a, like a really strong smell of chlorine. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's sure. And then like right. we're like, what the fuck is that? And then you hear a waterfall, and then like it's just like a ramp that goes up one story. It's kind of okay. yeah. It, it it's like a ramp, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like a waterfall of chlorinated water. And right. that's the first thing you need to get through. And I think it's like an artsy foot bath. Because I think they're trying to clean everyone's feet. Yeah. Ah. With like good, heavily chlorinated water. So that's right. cool. Right. So like just to assuage everyone's fears of like sanitary issues. Yeah. Like I mean, they, yeah. they wash your feet. Super cool. Right. And I think the one highlight of that exhibit is really like, um, I mean, the, 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 there were so many cool rooms. Um, there was one room that was just a beanbag. What? The entire room was a beanbag. What? The walls were a beanbag. The what? floor was a beanbag. The ceiling was a beanbag. Oh, you bag. mean my future home. <laughs> Dude, what? It's like people were trying to get through the room. But like some people would just give up. Because <laughs> it was too comfy. I guess this is where I live now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They it's like lie down and never get up. It's like there's a line of people traversing their way throughout the room. Yeah. But like... In the corners and the sides of the room, there are just people like, oh. ah, this is my hole now. I'm never leaving. Oh. Yeah, you, you're supposed oh. to just go through the beanbag room, but people are just lounging. Oh, that's I thought so good. I, in that sense, I thought some people couldn't like, like could, they get stuck and they then get they get stuck. eaten by the wall. Yeah, yeah. I think some people were in that situation. <laughs> just an arm sticking out. <laughs> The entire room is a beanbag. It sounds like a Junji Ito. It's comment. like, yeah. imagine like a, a pretty decently sized room, but the entire floor is a beanbag. That oh. sounds really comfortable. I don't know. Sounds great. When you step on it, do you just sink? Yeah, dude. Like, it's like, I took my first step, my entire like leg disappeared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's and I'm that like, deep. It sounds like a challenge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's like a challenge to get through, but it's the comfiest While challenge. your feet are wet? Oh, no. Um, oh, after shit. each wet part, they give you towels. That's beautiful. Good. Yeah, beautiful. yeah, yeah. They they tell you to dry off your feet nice. after each wet part. Um, other rooms, other rooms. Um, there was beams. There's like, is there like a plastic bubble wrap room? Nice. Um, there was an, t- an entire <gasps> room filled with just inflatable balls. What the? 
inflatable. No, but it sounds but, like a Mega Man Legends challenge. Um, imagine those giant this beach balls, sick. but make them ten, uh, like like probably five bigger. or ten times bigger. Right. But fill the entire room with them. Yeah. And when I say fill the entire room <laughs> with them, this is like a high ceiling room that's pretty large. Yeah. But the entire room is filled with them. As in, so there's no space. There's no space. So How you can you me? believe? You have, to, like, get the, you have no. to fight the balls no. to get through. <laughs> you have to push the balls in order to make way for you to get through. But you pushing the balls closes off other people's paths. Yeah. So, so it's, it's just, just it's a just bunch a of... Fight. Yeah. It's just a fight. It's just you a think this is gonna be a ball fight. <laughs> but it's just a really God damn fight. right. <laughs> it's like a really calm fight because there's like <laughs> chill music oh, going oh. on, and the Japanese are really polite. Mm. So like everyone's the just calmest fight, dude. Everyone's just meekly pushing the balls. It's like ah ah ah, choto. Uh, 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 when I get there, <laughs> it's gonna be some punch in the ball. It's really funny. Oh man, um, Hadouken. <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, one of the best rooms was um, just the, uh, it's just imagine like a football size a, a football sized room a football, a football field stadium? no that's like big. Wow, that's big Im- no imagine not really like one of those small football fields you know what I mean oh, yeah. one of those half sized right. ones okay yeah American or Foot European dwarfs. football hmm? American because that's smaller <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> Like for the gnomes. Yeah, imagine one of those small football fight. Uh, half of one. Right? Yeah, yeah, like half of one. Imagine an entire room like that, but you walk in and then like it's a ramp going down and like it's 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 just water. It's just all Whoa. water. So, so like a slide. That's, How do you not slip in? That's not clear. Die. No, the entire floor is rubber. Smart. The entire floor is rubber. Again, very smart. And like. You you this walk is like a, the, the floor is lava type of thing, <laughs> and like you walk down this ramp, right? And uh, it starts getting deeper and deeper, and then it gets up to your knees, and you're like, mm. "Oh, okay, weird." And all the water is is not translucent; it's like milky white. Right. So you're like, "Okay, what's up with that?" Uh, mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. you finally make it to the giant open room, and the entire room is just filled with knee deep water. And there are just like really cool projections on the water, and I think yeah. that's why it was white. Uh, so it'll bounce off. The, yeah, the yeah. Water. So it'll bounce off the water properly, and like it was just so cool. It's like it we stayed in that room cool. for so long. It because, looks very cool. Yeah, it's it's like we saw the pictures. Hit my Instagram. Like, look at it. Uh, like, like yeah, this, that's the room that confuses with the other exhibit. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. A bunch of projections on the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like it was just. Like, these exhibits were just, like, a super cool experience, and, like, I'd love to get back there. Um, I think for the art exhibits, that might be it. Okay. Um, what else did I do, do in Japan? Oh, oh, uh, one, like, like of course, I, I had to watch Japanese TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. as you do. And, like, one of the first things I saw when we were there, when we were trying to chill out, was we found this channel that was just playing smooth jazz over footage of cats uh, being followed around. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's like no sound, no commentary, just smooth jazz and cats. I like <laughs> and this. Of cats from, like, yeah. cats you've met. No, it's like, um, um, it features an area with a cat. And yeah. they just follow the cat around the whole time. And I like, like this channel. We were just, like, I super, we had it. super mystified. Because, like, I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is, like, a five-minute segment. It's been almost an R. And I'm like, it's still going. And it's like, holy shit. It's like one of those aquarium channels. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. But it's cats and smooth jazz. It's superior. Superior. The best combination. Dude. And like, um, um, one of the cats that was featured was a cat we met last Japan trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, last Japan trip, we hit Yanaka Ginza. We, we did so this year too. But like, we met this cat that looks like Migoy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A spirit animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it had the same Migoy face. It's like it had the, the black patches that mirror my hairstyle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. exactly. <laughs> and like while watching this jazz cat channel, we just <gasps> that's the cat. They, like, and they just fucking follow this cat around for like a whole day. It's like what, is, what adventures did it get up to? Uh, just normal cats though. It walking asked for around. food. It, asked, it wasn't given. It walked away. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much how classic cats, Migoy cat. Uh, <laughs> that's what I would do. <laughs> But yeah, like the the weird part was like I fell asleep to it, and when I woke up, it was just a shark. 
It was just <laughs> with smooth jazz. Yeah, yeah. It was just smooth jazz with a terrifying shark on the screen. <laughs> You're just <laughs> doing the same thing, dude. Asking it's so for food and then swimming away. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he asks is go, goes up to a human. It's like ah, ah, ah. give it the food. On you. Oh man, like, meow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> meow. Ah, oh, dude. There's just so much to talk about. Um, other cool spots I had. Oh, I finally got to go to uh the Kawasaki Arcade. Yeah, Ooh, nice. Um, that's Anatana Warehouse. I highly recommend if ever you guys are in Tokyo and you guys have like um um some time to spare because it's like an hour out of Tokyo. Yeah. Ooh. Because it's in it's in Kawasaki, so you need to take a train. It'll probably take you an hour to get there. Um, but it's called Anatana Warehouse. Hi. And it's, you are the warehouse. <laughs> no, is, doesn't that mean your warehouse? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But um, you get there, and the entire building just looks shitty, right? Just like the by design. Room. By design, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, from uh, like house. like um, it's actually based on um the Kowloon Walled City. If you're aware of that, ah, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, but if you're not aware of that, uh, just mm. think Midgar from FM Seven. Okay. It just looks like a really shitty building. Like you industrial. The, the slums, like, yeah, not like the good parts. Like super industrial. slummy, super industrial, that kind of jazz. Got it. Um, it looks like Wall Market. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. From FF7. Yeah. And uh, you you go in, mm-hmm. and the entire place is just modeled after the Kowloon Wall City. So they even have like um, 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 audio playing in the background of like. Um, Chinese crowds like just talking like it feels okay. like yeah it feels like you're in Kung Fu Hustle or something it's right. like you walk in it's the shadiest place okay like like I don't know how to describe it but it's an arcade huh. it's shady by design yeah it's like four floors of arcade but it's just modeled after the Kowloon Walled City I wonder why yeah why I, that was their I actually don't know I mean like one of the entrances you walk in there's like a fucking like radioactive sewage moat <laughs> Okay. Yeah. okay. That's weird. Okay. No, like very if you specific. Just, yeah, if you just look it up, Kowloon Walled City Arcade. I'm sure you'll find pictures of it. But I also, it was I also just... saw like pictures and video of uh, Ungeek. Our friends from Ungeek. Yeah, our friend from Ungeek went, went there, there on my recommendation. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So nice. that was that was a really fun stream. A lot of arcade machines there. Yeah, super. Like like, like even the old ones. Yeah, I thought. Um, that this place would be mostly about how it looks and yeah. not the games, mm-hmm. but this place was decked out. Yeah, like like um, UFO catchers. One like w- like, like one entire of floor of like oh, UFO catchers, yeah. and at the end of it, it's all the music games you could yeah. want. Yeah. They even like, like they even have like darts live or no. Yeah, that's the crazy part. On the like there's a there's a floor for pachinko and like metal games and shit. There's a yeah. floor for like UFO catchers and rhythm games. Yeah, and on the very top floor. Like it casino. starts in pool tables. Yeah. All right. It's like, yeah, it's just Lounge. like a fun entertainment center, but like modeled really cool. Cool. Mm. Um, uh, I think mostly I did normal Japan stuff, unless you guys no, have questions. No, 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 no arcade adventures, no revenge of the salary men. <laughs> no, no. No, we're claiming honor in Tekken 7. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't able to play any fighting games. Oh. Like, I don't know why I wasn't in the mood. Because yeah. what yeah. did you end up playing? I mostly Magic. played Drumania. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I played like 11 songs straight. I do not have the endurance I used to have like as a as did a you, youth. Did you... Uh, <laughs> whoa, oh, yeah. <laughs> did you manage to go to like Hararuya or any one of those I was Magic not Centers? Able, I was not able to get to Hararuya. Hararuya? <laughs> yeah. Haru. Haru. Yeah. I wanted to go but I wasn't able to. I, I didn't find the time. But... I did end up going to this place called Big, Big Magic. Big Magic. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love your caption for that photo. Yeah. Yeah. Big Magic. Legally distinct. Legally <laughs> distinct. <laughs> Magic the so, Summit. Yeah, dude. Oh, that, that, was, was that was weird. Yeah, yeah. Magic the Summit. Wait, where, where did you... Like, where did you saw that? Magic that the sign? Summit? Magic the Summit. Is oh, that a, a, the like sign Magic the Summit was just like a gacha machine that gives magic tricks. But it just happened to have the same font. Yeah, the same font as Magic the Gathering. Magic. That was, but it says Magic the Summit. That instead. was so disappointing. <laughs> I mean, no, and, and legal this don't own that font. So oh, yeah. yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's super Magic cool. the Summit. I saw God the word damn. Magic once. Yeah. I went to Big Magic, and I think there was a tournament Much. going on at the time because it was really, really busy. I think 
uh, there's a GP that was gonna happen. Really? Uh, well, it happened last weekend. Oh, for the life of me, I was thinking magic, like actual magic tricks. You went to magic trick shops? No, no, magic no. The gathering shop. Yeah, magic yeah. gathering shop. Oh, but yeah. magic the summit was actual was about magic, magic tricks. tricks. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, there goes my brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's two different. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, it's getting late. It's getting late. Um, mostly, Japan was super fun. I really enjoyed myself. I can't wait to go back. I like. I I, I really hope that next time we all go as a group. Yo, because I kind of want to show I, you guys uh, around. I also want to do it. because I feel like if we bring Migori to certain places, we'll lose him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like so. So you want to go to lose Migori? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. No, because like, I agree with this plan. <laughs> Migori is like, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> you sleep me. Go on without me. No, because like this is the beanbag room. <laughs> this is my arm sticking out. The beanbag room. No, because like I feel like like in my head, what's gonna happen is like I turn around and then when I look back, Migoy's stuck in like a UFO catcher game. I'm in there. Yeah, he's inside. Inside? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, help, there was a flipping help. Goku in this thing. <laughs> help. There's help. a Gundam in this machine. Oh man, I can't wait. Like oh, like um, we should um, really do that next year. Yeah, dude. Japan. <laughs> A hundred percent recommend. Just go. <laughs> Just wanna go, dude. Super great. Uh, do we have yeah. anything else on the docket? Uh, as, as far as I remember, we have listener mail this episode. We have a bunch of listener. We mail. have a bunch of listener mail. Who wants to go for it? Let's go make a new file. Yeah. Really? New file. It's been an hour. Okay. New file. Thanks, crawler. <laughs> Thanks, crawler. Man. <laughs> No, the footballs and Wolverines. This is just a bunch of Wolverines. God damn it. Wolverines. Sa mga ano, iniisip ko yung joggers na. Sa mga ano, joggers na. What do those mean? What do those words mean? Joggers na. It's just breasts. Large, heavy breasts. Yeah. Large, heavy breasts. You know why it's not any one of these recordings? Yeah, I know, That's right? That's recorded. Okay. Oh, thank Fuck God. Oh, thank oh, wait, God. did I? I think. Are you recording? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, There's a bunch of bunch Wolverines. Of Wolverines. <laughs> Man. Do we can't, start? Can't wait for cables. <laughs> Do we wait for 10 seconds again? Beasts. It's just a zoo. <laughs> Beasts. <laughs> the entire zoo is a superhero. Well, they think they're a scientist, too. Oh. <laughs> You want doctors? <laughs> doctors do. <laughs> doctors do. Oh no, 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 no. Strange. Strange. the strangest. Doctors strange. Doctors strange. A bunch of doctors who think oh, they're strangers. Oh, dudes. In dorms, mamu. <laughs> it's just a bunch of apartments. <laughs> dorms, mamu. <laughs> for students. <laughs> Specifically for students. Dorms, mamu. Let's exhale it. They're all on fire. Dorms, mamu. Let's go to party. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that the Spider-Man Rogues Gallery are filled with the natural predators of spiders? Yeah. That was in there. Wait. <laughs> like like <Yeah>. Hydro Man. <laughs> and 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 Mysterio. <laughs> and, and an octopus. That's how you beat a spider through mysteries. <laughs> Do it with a fishbowl. Do it. You fucking drown him with water. If I saw a spider, I'd use a fishbowl to trap it. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And special yeah. effects. As you anything. should. What about the pair of stockings called Shocker? <laughs> oh no. The fishnets. The natural predator of spiders. What about the rhino? <laughs> exactly. Man. The rhino can just kill anything. Welcome back to Good Trades episode 22, everyone. Oh man. The tale of Spider's oh, Man continues. So, yeah. speaking of like, Mar- like Marvel's characters, have you guys like heard that Dare's Devil has been canceled? <laughs> Dare's <laughs> Devil? Yeah, season three has been canceled. Yeah, season three has been canceled. They're all jumping ship. Yeah, yeah I know. This is Steven Disney. At this first, I thought the, the the Luke Cage and the Danny Danny Rand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's me. I, 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 the I, uh, Iron Fist. The, I thought the idea was they were gonna make a different show called yeah, like, Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yeah, that, that, would, that would, would, but, but now, well, yeah. what if it's Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Daredevil? There's Devil. <laughs> There's Devil. <laughs> yeah. Jessica's the Jones. <laughs> Jessica's Jones. <laughs> Jessica's Jones. <laughs> What? Jessica's Jones? I mean, you have to kind of switch it up. She's just jonesing around. Oh. <laughs> we forgot about Iron's Man. <laughs> yeah, actually. Iron's Man. And, uh, oh, man. This is funny to someone. 
Actually, I, I I saw a meme. No more creases. About 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 these Netflix uh, Marvel shows and mm-hmm. movies being out, like being deleted in the next in the Netflix list. Oh what? And it's just it's just uh, Josh. Is that part of the snap. It, it's just Josh from Drake and Josh saying. Thanos, <laughs> just, <laughs> Thanos reigns. It's just it's just Josh and Drake. Oh and man, Josh. like anyway. the one where it's the the Spider Man one meme that oh. says uh, it's Netflix begging for. Oh for yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> please don't cancel your subscription. Just give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give Daredevil a chance? <laughs> oh no, that's all that. That's all that. That's oh good. man, so we have like a whole bunch of um, listener mail today. Yeah. So let's yeah. start it off with Mr. Kenneth. Hey yo. Yeah yo. Um, Kenneth writes in, "What up, hype boys?" <laughs> I like that. Mm. Here's a question: Given that you guys are into all this awesome pop culture, TV, movies, and yeah. gaming, yeah. I'm curious if anyone in the crew. Is into toys as well. Hey. Got any fun that's, toy collecting stories? Any awesome new pickups? Thanks. We'll be back around eventually with more stories for you guys to dunk on. All right. P.S. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't waste hype. <laughs> <laughs> so, toy collecting, huh? That's your wheelhouse. I'm the only culprit in this. <laughs> dunk on him. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. Um, any st- any new pickups recently? No, because it's all been fucking magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we oh, kind of like magic. hijacked. We kind of like hijacked like um, um, Migoy's habits because back in the day, it was all about the toys. The Transformers was just the toys. Yeah, yeah. as in like he it's has a collection. Toys or games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Usually like, both. Ever since we introduced him to Magic the Gathering, though, he's had another outlet for his the, the money, the, the, addictive personality. Uh, no. <laughs> disposable income. Disposable yeah, income. That's go. a better that's term. term. Yeah. So any, any, like, what's your most recent acquisition? Besides, like, I have no idea. You have Kanye, right? Well, yeah, I, yeah, he's right. But the robots. The most recent of the toy purchases is the the Square Enix Bring Arts, which is their new like smaller figure line mm-hmm. of Kaine from Near. Yo, one, yeah, which is the sexy, the lady with the dongus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, the woman. Woo. <laughs> Of the game, oh, the man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I haven't opened her yet. That's that's. I that's mean, that's right. what you do with yes. toys as an adult. No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're never for display only. You actually play with them I know, a little bit. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact that that Kenneth is is a big like robot toy man, a robot oh, man. He's yeah. in that Kenneth. Transformers group I'm in. Oh, mm. okay. there you yes. go. Cool. So, what are your tri- like? I, I remember you had you went. Way into the Transformers. Yeah, that was my, my last rabbit hole. The Transformers yeah. rabbit hole. I remember you bought one too, right? Yeah, from yeah. the yeah. Windblade, dog. Windblade, yeah. It was super cool. <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay, I think all of us had has had one collective toy purchase together. And that oh, was... Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. yeah. I remember, I remember. And that was when we were in a toy store <laughs> and we walked past this aisle and it was just full of shit called... Deformation of the armor. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just this off brand Transformers <laughs> thing. And they all transform into guns. Yeah, guns, <laughs> pistols. Yeah, it's like <laughs> this so one. Yeah, this one transforms into a revolver. This one transforms into a Glock. <laughs> this one transforms. Into, I like, like that we also did some sort of floor around it. Did we? Like, like we yeah. were discussing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Deformation, Deformation of, of the, the armor. armor. Yeah. <laughs> And like, uh, oh, we're, we're thinking about this movie about deformation of the arm. It's just like the Mexicans and the gangs. Oh, it's yeah. It's just using guns, but They're denounce them. They're actually robots <laughs> from the future. They don't fight like with that. the guns. The guns transform and then fight each other. Yeah, oh, yeah. no. Or something like that. I don't, that was like a year right? ago. Was it me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The- um, no, the, the story oh, was... I think I remember something about the Bloods and the Crips. The yeah, yeah, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was, that was fun. They, they, they murdered each other through a gun war. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, their souls got trapped into the, the guns. <laughs> the guns? The, like, the own gang yeah. members become the, I, I, deformate. They deformed they into deformed. the armor. Yeah, 
I remember you were pitching like a storyboard of this. The parang was I? Yeah, yeah. like the the scene from Ninja Turtles where the ooze get, <laughs> <laughs> the ooze gets yeah. onto a bunch of Glocks. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you said back yeah, then. Yeah, I think I remember. I think I remember. It's like it's like the fucking truck from Ninja Turtles runs yeah. runs over a gangster. <laughs> and, then, and the slime falls on his gun. Oh, my Since man. Since he was the last one to touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. He it takes class. on the form of a man. Yeah, and, and he dies and his soul enters the gun. <laughs> so the sequel is still called Secret of Youth. Oh, yeah. no. With, Holy with, shit. With vanilla ice. But yeah, that was our yeah. one collective toy purchase I, as a group. We built those we guns. Bought, we bought tech decks together. <laughs> yeah, we, we bought tech decks uh, and tech we built decks. those guns. Oh, together. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, yeah, the Gundam. We still need to get done. Yeah, actually. we had one Gundam I build night. I recently purchased uh, twice, twice. a Nendoroid. Ooh, oh, the Witcher. Witcher. The yeah, the Witcher. The, Witcher. <laughs> the, the Geralt of Rivia Nendoroid. Uh, I think it was like a couple of months ago. It comes with that bathtub, right? Yeah, it comes with that bathtub. It's just cute. And he also has this, uh, like a set of three Gwent cards he's holding. Oh, nice. So that's, that's cool. cool. That's cute. And that's basically my my, my toy purchase. Uh, I think my my little brother is the he's he's the more of, like the he's more into mark? toy collecting than I am. Like he collects like crazy amounts of Kamen Rider and like oh, Super yeah. Sentai I SH some figures. Of his youngest brother is also the the big into the Japanese toys, while the other two are into like Western toys. Yeah. What about you, Rafi? Any toy purchases? Oh man, um, I got into. I don't know. I, uh, I'm not I really a big toy Funko guy either. Pops. Funko like, Pops. Funko Pops. Yeah. That. No, actually, that, you still on dude, that? that super counts. Not, not, not so much anymore. But mm. when in the in our heyday, we were like, oh, we gotta get all of them. That's <laughs> when you met Emil and did the podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, dude. Yeah. I remember when I first met Rafi. He told me, "Yo, we're recording in this room, and it was full of Funko Pops." Yeah. Was he, oh, were you oh, scared oh. he was gonna trap your spirit in one of them? <laughs> oh Throw man! Throw ooze all over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Ninja Turtle. Ooze. What is this? What is this? Toy Soldiers sequel. <laughs> oh man! Oh, small Soldiers. Small Emissary soldier. of the Gorp. Oh, Small, small Soldiers. Small Soldiers. Oh yeah. Soldiers. What's the other one? That's a great fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah. Toy, Toy Soldiers, Soldiers might with... be the Eminem song. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Anyways, Small Soldiers is great. But yeah, great thanks movie. for the question, Kenneth. Yeah. yeah. We have another question from Carlos yeah. of Too oh. Much Gaming. Oh what? Carlos? <laughs> yep. This is actually for Rafi. Carlos, uh, yeah. uh, explain the tongue oh, yeah. in detail. <laughs> explain the tongue. So uh, it harkens back to my Anglo-Saxon roots, uh, back <laughs> before the time of our Lord. Uh, 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 our people, uh, yeah, we never talk of our Lord. Um, our people used to rely on our tongues to hunt. And it gave us power. Damn. And the ultimate weapon. Yeah, dog. We would like you smell to, with your tongue? We'd be running through the forest with our hounds just and shit. Licking everything. Tongues out. <laughs> and then we may see a target like a prey. We just dive in like tongue first. Oh shit, was your lord yeah. like a dog with his tongue out? Yeah, definitely. Nice. You you crack you solved my lord puzzle. <laughs> For any listeners out there who are confused. <laughs> <laughs> for the image, stuff. yeah, yeah just look for for Rafi's recent <laughs> images. Yeah, our our it's, listener mail. I mean, it's mo- not... mostly it's just Rafi sticking his tongue out. Yeah, most so of the time, anyway. So go check yeah. our Facebook page. Uh, when we asked for listener questions for this episode, <laughs> uh, Mix thing. used an image of Rafi sticking his tongue out. A really, really, blur- a really <laughs> blurry one, so it looks like he's going really fast. <laughs> Never stop going fast. Yeah. I think the, the gentleman and the scholar called Sonic the Hedgehog said it best. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Well, yeah. Thanks, Carlo. Yeah. I hope that explains the tongue. <laughs> Carlos. 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 Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. Can I take the next one from Carlo? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Is this the long one or is it a different one? No. It's, How many it's, did he say? No, this one's fine. Um... Um, a listener question coming in from Carlo, uh, one of our patrons, yeah, yeah. Uh, just like Kenneth. Um, listener question, what was the thing you were passionate about before, but not anymore? <gasps> For me, I was really into drawing anime when I was a kid up to college. I was okay, I guess, but I am no natural. 
I eventually learned that I was actually better at programming and I've been doing it ever since. Nice. I draw from time to time, but never anime style anymore. Oh, and yes, this question is clearly stolen from Reddit. <laughs> I, asked, <laughs> I asked because I am curious about your answer. So, what is, so boys, what are you, what were you passionate about that you aren't passionate about anymore? I think we have that phase where we were trying YouTube All gaming and YouTube Let's Play stuff. No, I think I'm, like, I still want, like, I think that's a matter of time. I think I'm still passionate about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I've, 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 I've grown up. Like, I've, I've grown into it. Nah. Mm. Like, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just me though. Like, uh, editing stuff. It kind of get. Pre- it well, kind that's of the work part. Got of it. Pre- yeah, that's, that's that's the hardest yeah. part about it. Yeah. That's fine. We'll hire an editor. But yeah, it's it's also how you like, like b- before we were just like, uh, n- a good example is. Nubs and cubes is basically mm-hmm. like your old show. Like uh, the goal of that channel was just to record me and my friends and like have some sort of like an archive of you know that the fun times right. that we had. Yeah, something yeah. to look back on. Yeah, and uh, I think as as time went on, it just became like this, just the same thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So yun yung mahirap. Like you gotta think of new ways to entertain people or new stuff to make that uh, I just had enough because of you know uh, other stuff to think of and yeah of course dude, the editing there's thing. a lot of things you could do in yeah. this world and like I think it's a matter of like budgeting mm-hmm. yeah. your yeah, time time for it mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, because the, the editing for those is surprisingly you know grueling I mean you could make it easier editing. because editing. you just have you, like so, some <clears throat> some YouTubers just like upload a file and Put some. Yeah, some, yeah, some people can do that. Yeah. People straight up just upload their stream archives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, others yeah, are really meticulous on 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 the editing side. Yeah. Which so is I what guess you it, did. Yeah. yeah. Like on I mean, I guess side. at the end of the day, it's like it's up to you. Yeah. yeah? yeah. What about you, Raf Man? Um, okay, so uh, the thing that jumps into my mind right now is basketball. <laughs> yeah, baby. I was super into it. Like I, I have, I've had a lot uh, in, your... in and out, like. Relationship with basketball. Is your head not in the game? <laughs> is, 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 is this a sports joke? I appreciate it. It's a high school musical joke. It's a high school musical joke because Rafi is a I'll huge t- high school musical mark. Take it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day this man cracks a high school musical joke. But yeah. Um, so I had a phase that I didn't like basketball at all as a, as a kid. And my, my dad was all... Yo, you gotta play. You gotta do the layups and the stuff. <laughs> and like, I didn't like it at all. It felt like a chore. So he was training me in the bunch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then I grew to love this the sport. And like, uh, during my high school days when we just play just for the hell of it, mm-hmm. naka uniform pa kami, naka leather shoes, leather long. Oh, oh shit! We just play at the half court and just whatever. And like, this is the height of slam dunk, which which nice. made us love the game even oh, more. Oh yeah, that's Anime. important. Yeah. So from then. I fell in love with the sport, got into it, super got into it, wanted to get better, better, better college. And I hit my like low point with it um, uh, uh, during my, 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 my previous job. Because yeah. that was what all they did, dude. That, that, was, um, that was their like, outlet. outlet. And that's all they do. Like, Just um, basketball? If they weren't playing basketball, they were, talk- they were talking about it, they were watching it, they were like, um, um, they 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 bet on it like you know if it wasn't banking stuff it was basketball stuff. So banking and basketballs. Yeah, the, the two was, big B's. The, 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 the B's. Um, so for me. <laughs> oh, sorry. that's what it stands oh, for. Oh, so banking. this is what this yeah. jacket stands for. That's so Banks. great on an audio button. Yeah, Rafi's wearing a Leatherman jacket with a B on it. <laughs> um, B stands so for yeah, you, Um, I I got super burned out on it because it was like. Uh, is this all we do? We <laughs> we, we ball to, to bank and we bank to ball. <laughs> That's so, the episode so, yeah. title. And then, but but uh, so I I, jo- I I didn't end up joining any new leagues. I did. I I distanced myself away from it. Now I'm going back on it. Like I, I miss it, and I'm starting to. It's starting to grow on me again. So I've been yeah. So I, I'm in that phase again. I'm coming back to it. Cool. Yeah, basketball's massive. Super. Good for you. Nice. What about you, Migoy? 
I, I'd assume that we all went through an anime drawing phase mm. yeah. at some point. A bit. Just a little bit. No. I mean, um, I used to draw like a bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog oh back God. in like first grade. Yeah, wow. Right. At least as long as it didn't go into the, the Oh, porn. no, right. no, 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 no. After that, I drew some Spawn. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Well, just in general, I'm sure we all went through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, phase. totally. <laughs> Mine is probably actually the video games. Mm. Just because I don't get to play it anymore. And like even oh, before true. that, but I'm playing more than two hours. I already get burned out. Mm -hmm. And depending on the game, like some games, I just go hard for six hours. Yeah. But most, even if it's really good, I drop out after an hour. Mm -hmm. huh. You think and it's a matter of time? Well, now for real, yeah. I can't even like take 30 minutes mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. getting interrupted or having to do something else. Yeah, it's kind of crazy being an adult. It really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and people, like, I can't get into the mood to just pop in a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think it's like, even if I do know, like, oh, I have three hours free, I can totally pop into this. Yeah. You most recent experiences, like a few years ago, where I start a game, then like yeah. thirty minutes in, like I get a knock on the door, Ugh. like as re I'm recording, but right? or you know somebody comes in, mm -hmm. like without telling me, yeah, and it kind of just ruins the whole jive. Mm -hmm. Or recording let's plays back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna, like, I guess that's what got me out of it. Oh. Like, I, I want to play games, but I just can't find the energy to do it most of the time yeah but, but i think you're still passionate about it it's oh, just yeah, like, it's just a matter of time i just don't follow it as much anymore yeah. exactly and some speed it feels like those experiences soured you on it now. yeah yeah yeah, the, yeah that, that sounds the, like the, like i the, expect the it to happen skimmer. every time mm. yeah, it sounds about right we need that studio i feel like yeah yeah, yeah. we need never it, stop we need like that editors. boy's tree house with the, with the with the hoop at the back so i can <laughs> yeah 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 so i can not play basketball oh no uh, for me, yeah. though, no, nah. no, because like I was thinking about it while you guys were talking about it. Because yeah. like I'm a very like kind of a, like a jack of all trades kind of guy. Like like about it. no, I mean like <laughs> like like I try out a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, and like I I don't think I've ever been like not passionate about something. I'm I'm just always at the point of like I'm not doing it right now because oh, yeah. before like I used to be super passionate about magic. Yeah. Um, like magic tricks and stuff right, like that, right. and I used to like that was my you life. Used to be a magician, I ladies mean, and gents. Yeah, you know, for for a little bit, I used to do. Well, where'd magic. your thumb go? Whoa! <laughs> Top tier magic, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I would like get into this one thing, be really passionate about it, yeah. but stop doing it, yeah. but still remain passionate about it. Yeah. I think the only thing that I haven't thought about or gone back to, now that I think about it, yeah. Is probably dancing. Oh, uh, this is a revelation. Wait, yeah. Why didn't we think of this before? <laughs> is this break dancing or? Yes, yeah. Find the dance. Yo, you were break dancing. It was break dancing. Yo, you just became cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I. How cooler can you we need get? To see it though. No, yeah. no, that's Yo. the thing because I never went back to it because like um. You get to do them head spins. No, no, oh. no, I never reached that level. But yeah, like, you pop um, it, lock it. Cause, cause, um, back in around late grade school, I would say, oh. um, um, I got into the band scene, All right. right? Like, All right. I started playing the drums yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. But like, um, you'll never expect the drummer to dance. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, when when Battle of the Band stuff wasn't happening, or like, like when yeah. when there weren't any gigs and stuff like that, yeah. I would hang out with like the dance troupe. Dance, yeah. dance okay. club yeah. of my school. That's I funny. never really joined their club, but I would hang out with them. Yeah. And I spent like a good like two, three years of high school just hanging out with them and learning how to break dance. And okay. it was super fun. But like after that, I just kind of like left and never really thought about it again. It sounds like an awesome step up movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Now it's the time to come back. <laughs> no. Step up the magic. <laughs> oh, dude. Magic tricks while dancing. You, yeah, they, they, they come come to you and we need you. <laughs> Emil, we need your power. Oh, no. What is this movie? Sequel? What is this movie? But yeah, they taught me like basic, like basic um, breakdance stuff. I could do like freezes. I could do like um, like simple scoops and like steps. But um, yeah, that's Oops, I, I think that's the only thing that I never went back to or thought about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dancing. 
Interesting. Right. Thank you for the question, Carlo. Thank Carlo. Oh, thank we you so much. We learned something about Emil. Today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He gifted us with knowledge. Not only was he a magician, he was a master dancer. <laughs> No, I wasn't. Was it so. because of Busted Groove? Oh, dude, fucking dude, Heat's my favorite yeah, character. Man. Yeah, man. Okay, I think we have one last question. Yeah. Sure. Well, there's another Got one more. from Carlo, actually. Yeah, what? yeah we, we have could. A, we could another one from Carlo. We could end it with that one. Where's the other one from Carlo? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, uh, what about I don't Jermaine? See. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Come on. Let me check it out. Is it is it short or long? You just called Jerome Jermaine. Oh, Jerome, sorry. Yeah. Jerome, yeah, okay. It's so Jay. our next Wait. listener mail comes yeah. from Mr. Jerome. He says, okay, guys, I'll Whoa. pop the question early. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> what are your picks for the first quarter of 2019 for PS4 releases? Uh, is that mean? Hard? Yeah, like like for anything that's coming out on the what first quarter of 2019. Yeah, what is coming out? out? No idea. Oh um, Jerome says, I'm actually surprised that the first Onimusha on the PS2 is getting a PS4 remaster. Anyhow, oh. does that count? Yeah. Um, mega thanks and more power to your show. I'm looking... by, by the way, if you're drunk and look at Emil's name on Facebook, <laughs> you can actually read it as Enrile Tanglao. Yo, Enrile. Coincidence? I Maybe think they, no. I think they misspelled your name. Have a nice morning at night, my dudes. Dude, All right. hmm. All right. they misspelled your name. Enrile Tanglao. Oh no. Enrile. Why, why'd you have to add that to the end of the question, dude? <laughs> And maybe we must get very drunk and oh. test this for ourselves. <laughs> in, uh, the in the morning at night. Oh, but yeah. The uh, secret to immortality. <laughs> so, is that why I don't age according to you guys? Ah, <laughs> because <laughs> 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 Oh, no. But yeah. You must um, find him now. <laughs> but you know, you know. 2019. <laughs> Wait, what yeah. is coming out? Because yeah, I, I pretty no much idea. stopped oh, following like, game okay. news because of the corporate I mean, work. Yeah. And like ever since that the big twenty seventeen when which had the you know the near automatas and stuff. Okay. I actually have a list here. I oh, stopped nice. there. Right. Um yeah, um Mario and Luigi, Bowser's inside story, Bowser. What is that? Wait, isn't what? that a DS game? Yeah, it's a three DS game coming uh, out PS January eleventh. Whoa, wait. <laughs> yeah, what the wait, fuck? Get out of here. Wait, Bowser's inside story again? Yeah, plus Bowser Jr.'s journey. So oh, sequel. wait. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess like I guess I point. could I could like get excited. No, no, look for some, the big ones. Yeah, okay, okay, this is this is actually a All really right, long right. list, so I'll just go through it. Um, there's there's Tales of Vesperia, Definitive Edition. Uh, new, nice to meet not you. The remakes, the yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> new <laughs> Super <laughs> Mario Brothers U Deluxe. That counts as a remake. Oh, okay, or, okay. Or nice release. to meet you. Let me hit the big ones. Onimusha Warlords. Resident nice Evil to Two. Yakuza Four. Yeah. Yes, January. Oh, I nice. I'm currently in January. Nice Resident Evil Two. Tropico 6. What? Kingdom Hearts 3. There we go. Oh. Okay. Um, moving on to February. Crackdown 3. What the? Wow. wow. Oh, that was. Is that really coming out? Very Clue Crew Holy Simulator. Shit. Yeah. God Eater 3. All right. Four. All right. Dead or Alive 6. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jump Force. Nice to meet you. Uh, Phoenix Wright Attorney Trilogy. Oh, yeah. Wait. Come on. Oh, that's a remake. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's a remake. That's a re-release. I got a... Oh, nice to meet you. Anthem. Sure. Whoa! Yeah, really, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't know. About that. I'm, I'm, gonna I'm not away. gonna. Jesus Christ! Not, it's the I don't Destiny it. Q1 no, goes up where? to what? Q1 March? goes up to May, right? April, 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 or April. April? Bro? It's I think. Be no, DMC five. What? Yeah, DMC five. March. 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 It goes up to March. Okay. Right. Numbers, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was killing him. Twelve months in a year. Metro Exodus. Yes. Oh, I Metro yes. Again. And they no spiders. Fuck. <laughs> Radioactive Russian spiders. Yeah. Um, That's why I never play the metal games. <laughs> I say spiders. Unang level palang dun sa isa. Okay. Parang, oh, oh, okay. Wow. There is also Zero out of ten. There is also Anno 1800. What is that? Oh, it's the. I think I've ever heard of uh, that. Anno. City building simulator. Yeah. Ah, okay. 
Sharon Nokuni, The Girl Ooh. Among the Sunflowers for PS Vita. <laughs> oh, sounds like a... Uh, making those. I know, yeah. right? You laughed at Vita. Yeah, I know. It I means laughed. life, Emil. It's yeah, a dude. good console. You forgot uh, the cookies. No one bought. And for March, um, there's Total War Three Kingdoms. Oh, yeah. That one's good. Mm. Because it's Romance of the Three um, Kingdoms. Devil May Cry 5. Yes! Woo, baby! One Piece World Seeker. Okay. All right. That's that. that looks all right. Yeah, it looks yeah, all right. All right, all right. There's, there's Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Yeah, sure. uh, the <laughs> nice to meet you. I like the, the, to meet you. <laughs> the sinking city. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I know. Now um, we're talking. Sekiro. Shadows. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's gonna March end. That. Yes, this is all March. Dude, March wow. is gonna be the shit. And um, Nelke and the legendary alchemists. Ateliers oh, of the dude. New World. It's a new atelier. Okay. I, I, I guess. Oh, it's the full metal album. And the last one for March is The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? It's I don't side, know. It's a side scroller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When's, when's so, that thing, you, the, the cyberpunk that's 2D? Uh, the, 2D. Last, the Last Night? Mm-hmm. Frank Grenade? Yeah, I think it's it was second revealed quarter. in last E3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the other E3. I, I massively yeah. forget. Yeah, The Long Night or whatever it was. I guess I could be excited with. Devil May Cry. And Devil May Cry second. Resident yes. Evil and second. Like, I mean, oh. Kingdom Hearts 3, I, I just hope it's good. I think mm-hmm. everyone is excited for Kingdom Hearts 3, mm-hmm. but like, I. People know. Yeah, I kind of get this inkling that we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. It yeah. needs to be extremely good for, yeah. for the wait to be worth Because there's been so much hype. How long have we been waiting? Since 2? Two? 2 yeah. came out in like 2005. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I guess that's why I feel underwhelmed with it. Took so long from and game it hasn't really game. changed. And it hasn't really yeah. changed. You think it's a matter of There's like not much it needs to like hit you hard, because either I'm, story or something. Because else. I'm afraid it might experience Final Fantasy 15 syndrome. Ooh, yeah, you know, 13, it probably. could, it could, it could possibly. Right, be right. Either. And yeah, that's I, my main fear. I, I remember my other main gripe about it. The cutscenes take so long. Well, we were sitting there listening to cutscenes well, for like square. minutes. Same. I think that's a uh, that's normal. No, yeah, that's super normal. There has to be a more efficient no, a demo, way to convey bad. story. Yeah, yeah, for a demo, that's really bad. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts is laden. That's all it has left. Like, really? Yeah. But it is. It, there's like, uh, for example, the scene that I'm talking about is like, oh, the Heartless are here, and then Buzz and Woody meet to like, oh, we gotta defend the thing. So they meet. They showed the whole meeting. And then we got to organize. The Heartless are right there! <laughs> it's like, the background. And then Sora comes in. Sora and the, the crew come in. And then, oh, there's those other dudes. Now they're fighting those other dudes. Like, yeah. they, they talk about the people fighting the... the, the, the parang, it takes so long. Yeah, that sounds like parang, it, There has to be a more efficient way. Anyway, mm. yeah. Uh, so, out of everything I mentioned, the MC. top picks. Ravnica... Well, that's ooh, not ooh. a video game. I know. I know. If, said, Yo, if we talk if about said arena. Game, yeah. <laughs> uh, for sure, Sekiro, DMC, and fuck it, I'll do I'll, I'll try out Kingdom Hearts. But I'm a Marvel. Or about my Star Wars. So people are speculating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope yeah. so. I fucking hope so. Yeah. RE2 for me and Sekiro. Yeah, uh, probably RE2 and, and Sekiro for me too. Uh, I look forward to no, getting DMC a PS4. Love, huh? <laughs> no, like RE2 it looks as what I'm expecting of it, uh-huh. mm-hmm. but I'm not a big RE2 mark, yeah. so I'm okay with it. But like, mm-hmm. it, it's nice, it looks nice. It played nice. Yeah. The MC5, though, that's my jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riding my uh, ro- robot rocket arm as a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Oh, cannot wait. The MC5, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Your role, sick too. And I Radio. think, I think that's it. Yeah. We could close this with Carlos' Carlos final... Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Do you want me to do it or do you want you to do it? I'll do it. I'll do it. So Go for it. Like the week before? Yeah. Okay, so, cool. Okay, yo, yo, yo. This is what Carlos says. Carlos writes, not sure if this is useful to you guys, but I made a script on my programming stream <laughs> that downloads the subtitles of YouTube videos and I use it on your episodes. Oh, These God. transcripts are useful if you need to find out what you guys talked about in previous episodes. Yeah. You okay. know, like when you want to find out who actually started the MTG craze <laughs> in your group. <laughs> Here's a link to a Google Drive containing the downloaded theory. subtitles and easy to read text files. Yeah. It only works in YouTube though, so it does not have your latest episodes. Thanks, Carlo. Yeah, so cool, there's a link to the Google Drive. Oh, okay, of, okay, go for it. Oh, dude, this is comedy gold because I kind of 
took a peek of one of the episodes. Want to do a table read? Let's do it. Let's <laughs> let's try a, like uh, like two table reads. Okay. Of okay. just the intro because oh, the intros the intro, are yeah. really good. Sure. All right. So this is episode one. And this no, is... how about we do one intro each? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Okay. So this is episode so one. one. Episode one. Standing in front of Dole's test kitchen. <laughs> okay. Go. So, at, uh, so what? Amazing. Amazing. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So what did the bot think we said? Okay. <laughs> so this is the. Uh, this is the intro. So Emil says, "Hey kids, this is the first. What's this? No. Oh wait, there you go. First episode. I know about how do you do your holiday invoice? Holiday invoice. <laughs> I say like, hello everyone. No, no, no. That's not my holiday invoice. That's my holiday invoice. It's not your gig. Accurate. Yeah. Surprisingly so anyway, accurate. let's skip to the actual okay. uh, thing. Okay. Welcome everyone to the very first episode of Good Trades." I'm Miguel. You can call me Meat Boy or Mickey. <laughs> you can call me Meat, Meat Boy. Boy. Yo, I, I want everything oh, sorry. This is a smart what? robot. I want everything sorry. I am a meal for meal <laughs> the morning at night. <laughs> the Dead <laughs> Show. <laughs> and I'm Miguel from the News and Cubes website and YouTube channel. This bot is amazing. For the very first episode of Good Trades, we are joined by Mr. Rafi oh, Lanis right. from the Geek and... Geek and gladiators. Right. Ah. The geek Get and over. Gladiator. Yeah. You're right. Geek, so have we figured out what this show is really about? Guys, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean we just made this podcast out of Frito <laughs> to have a Frito? certain yeah. medium have to just loosen up a bit. Anyway, this is like Dude, episode great. one. That is so Rafi Give Rafi a second cool. episode. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. So or like do. something. Yeah, this episode no, no. two. I'm gonna do random. I, I, I actually wanna hear the one where we what? Shit, which episode was that? All right, but no. I, you know what I want? I I'm want, thinking. I'm thinking. You know those robots that they force them to like read Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they learn yeah. and try to make so their the own book. podcast. No, no. So they'll go through all our episodes and try to make one for themselves. Yeah. Yo, so what? What are we gonna me, do? Meat boy. <laughs> It'll replace us in the future. Is there a transcript Hello. for "Does your water run on batteries"? Oh shit. Uh, I that's probably one of my favorite episodes we've ever because it's me <laughs> and my ah, fuck yes. ups yes 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 I, it's, it's I a love really this good intro episode. so it's a good much intro. oh shit All right. I love this yes, intro so yes. one you yeah. want me to do it you, you, you want to do it Rafi you do it Emil. you do it I'll do it I'll do it because it's my I'm requested just, episode yes. yeah yeah alright hold okay. on so just to be clear this is a transcript written by a bot for episode 12 of Good Trades what if your water ran on batteries? It was that long ago? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that's not that far. All right. Here it goes. All right. I'm Roly, so no host hands mix. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. You this know, small. shit really. Normal Joy got you okay. Normal Are you... voice. Normal voice. <laughs> yeah, normal oh. voice. Are you gonna host? All right. They're gonna hold <laughs> all. Right. Yeah, I guess I can do it, do it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> do your own buried in Obra. <laughs> Wait, so you're oh, at the I'm pretty sure music. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that Good happened. Job, I wish that happened. Makes war my new business cubes. <laughs> <laughs> The slowest of makes okay, this, I know this part now. from too much gaming. Yeah. You, you have to control us, okay? And whoa. <laughs> this, like, is, this is me like, internalizing. Right. That god, whoa. I can't know the part of it that I didn't grasp last time. You need to cut the segments. I should, <laughs> <laughs> I should like really as in <laughs> like when it's happening, you have to cut it. You said... I'll just go no way out. You shut up. You shut up, you. (laughs) That was me. Music. (laughs) Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Good Trades. I'm your host, Nick Sampson. (laughs) Sampson. Nick Nick Sampson. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the the subtitles in the Luke Cage intro. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Describe what it's seeing on screen. I'm your host, Nick Sampson, from Too Much Gaming. But you know you're not waits. Come on, hold it right there. The Joe there right get the run back on that seriously too much game. I forget what makes you why I need to warm up through my name is Niggs. Niggs. Whoa. <laughs> I love this Phoenix Wright episode. Yeah. Oh, calm down. 
and I'm from Crappy Spring Weekend Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It says that. Crappy. It says I'm from Crappy Spring Weekend Gladiators. <laughs> Is that supposed to be your name? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But where's the spring from? Yeah. Where oh. are... Where are you know. trailing off like that? Why is it getting quieter? It yeah, is, he's <laughs> doing this on purpose by introducing Big Sam. You know more. You're the most. You're in charge. You're, it's your yeah, show. That's, you. that's right. That's me. Long pause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I robot. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. robot. That's big strong. That's I think we can strong. end each episode with one of that. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Do that with this episode. Do it, oh, yeah. Jesus. Please, please do that. Because we need to upload it on YouTube, though. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. That's, we can. Problem. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Thanks, so, Carlo. <laughs> that was what, so That was an especially long episode of Good Trades. It's yeah. nice to be back, boys. Yeah. Us. We, it's good. Yeah. I, I missed you, boys. Oh, we did yeah. Okay. The loots. The loots are coming. I missed you, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Ah, yeah. Are we going to end close. this soon? Ah, yeah. Wait, what were we doing at the start of the show that was just as creepy? Uh, yeah, yeah, this the same thing. No, but what were we saying? Slappy mouth sounds. Oh. No, we were saying something we else though, singing. but we were whispering into the mic. And we were singing something, but... Uh, good tongues? What? No. <laughs> but tongues we were singing good. something, but saying something. Yeah, yeah, but I remember me and Rappi were whispering were it into the mic. We, uh, it, it was a song. That we were was doing. it a song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a song that doesn't end. Uh, and it goes it on and on, on, my friend. Anyways. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. Mm. You'll continue singing it forever, forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Spotify, iTunes podcast. Rap. Um, <laughs> Anchor.fm Keep it steady uh, Stitcher Pagawa ka sa sister You can find us at Patreon Support us at Patreon At yeah. patreon.com Slash Good Trades Brigade Come sing Sing more uh, Thank you so much to our lovely patrons Kenneth Carlo Cherry Kevin and my female wife, Charles. Charlie, 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 you rock. What it was, so they continue singing. You can, you, 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 you can finish it now. <laughs> it Dude, ends. it's the song that never ends. That's the point. Uh, keep it going, guys. <laughs> keep it going. Keep it Woo! going. Five stars on iTunes, please. Okay, that's great. Yes, yes, please Review say it. Yes. Reviewers on iTunes, please. Please, if, 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 you have, if you're listening, I mean, uh, if you're listening to us, you have the time. Like, it would be, it would be very nice if you, if you, uh, if you power up, if you drill a five star review, put it in this information oh, campaign. Like, like the iTunes. Move your, ah, move your, move your, move your cursor yeah, yeah. slowly to the Keep iTunes. And then click all five stars. But do it slowly. And then say some nice words. Oh, us. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>